<laughs> so speaking of dying, <laughs> is everyone ready for another exciting episode of the Rod Goons? Hey, hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode of The Rot Goons. We're trying to go super fast with the intro. I'm not using the VTuber thing because there's some uh <laughs> there's some foundry stuff that's taxing my system a whole bunch. So my CPU's at 100 percent right now. I got oh, a lot God. of stuff going on all three screens. <laughs> oh oh yeah. And I'm streaming. Anyway, we're gonna go real quick. Uh sort of left to right, starting off with our amazing Noel Ranger, Minerva. Hello, hello. My name is Minerva, aka Party Demon S. I'm an artist, a VTuber, and uh, I play the role of Grey Crocus, the Null Ranger. And I'm scared. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> we should. Next be. up, we have our scheming capitalist, Cabal. Hello, my name is Cabal. I'm a artist, voice actor, and variety and horror streamer here on Twitch. Um, I am playing Talim Shabur, the local spirit of capitalism and ghost magus. And then next up, we have our resident little guy, Froggy Lock. Hi, I'm Froggy Lock. You can find me under that handle on like pretty much every social media platform ever. I'm a professional artist and variety streamer sometimes. And uh, please be patient. I, I just spat all over my keyboard. I'm sick. We saw those grippers. We saw it. I'm obviously, grippers of a sick person. <laughs> <laughs> well, wrap it up. <laughs> and we have we have the carved piece of art, Salty Jub. Hello, my name is Salty Jub. I go by she, her, and uh, you can find me on Salty Jub on both Twitter and on Twitch. Uh, I do a lot of the art seen in uh, the Rot Goons uh, podcast and show. If you are listening on this, you have never seen my work. And I'm very sorry that you have not seen how cool it is. <laughs> Dang. I'm She's also right, sorry. though. The, the, the Salty's art is amazing. Um, <laughs> may or may not be biased. I have Shit. one question. Yes. Yeah. Um, will you give me uh, 20, 20 crossbow bolts for uh, this? Hold on. Nope. Will you give me, hold on, will you give me 20 crossbow bolts for, uh, hold on, it's processed, hold uh -huh. on, uh -huh. for this, can I have 20 crossbow bolts? <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't believe Froggy is, 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 for, for is, is declaration. in Pathfinder. To, uh, <laughs> to explain, Froggy gave me five, gets to trying to bribe me, trying to pay to win the game here. I forgot to get my I mean, crossbow I mean, bolts, I have two crossbow bolts! As far as I'm concerned, her heart's in the right place. So I have ADHD. <laughs> Please, please, I forgot. I have ADHD. Please. <laughs> no, hey, sure. I, I will allow you to get crossbow bolts with those five gifted studs, but not right now. Oh, thank you. Wait, what? Yeah, it's not right now. Because last we left off, <laughs> last we strong. left off, we were still at Elma's. Yes, I'm we were. Chat. So who's gonna get the the hero point for recollecting what happened last time? Oh yeah, I can. Hmm. Well, whoever wants to recap it, that's not Beetle. <laughs> that's not Beetle. You you got it last two times. You're not allowed to do it anymore. Okay. Whoever whoever remembers what happened last time, everyone hmm. remembers what happened last time. Uh, can earn two hero points, and if you mess up, then I get my villain point. I will increase my total from three to four. I will the open one? the you floor to, 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 to Min and Salty. <laughs> no! They, they, they <laughs> Absolutely not! Salty? Why not, Why not Min? You're the Why not Min? <laughs> Why? Why? Yeah. Because I'm going to recollect all the, the talking about the, the, the retail stuff we did, the food service stuff we did, and I'm going to go blank. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have an episode. <laughs> last yeah, time we're doing on the Rock Goons episode. Last time on the Rock Goons, uh, <laughs> we had a double part episode of part five and six as one uh, cohesive stream where. Uh, <clears throat> 
technically, Soren, episode 6 is the last episode, meaning that is the episode that I can recollect, but I won't do that, because then you might go that with that reasoning <laughs> that I can recap everything. What? So, in episode 5, the team, the rot goons, found themselves near the, um, the chained up uh, house above the pits uh, in the Pons Palaster. Heart, Beetle, uh, Grey Crocus, and Talim were all about looking for a way to um, survive post the duel with the scary wizard, also now known as a word eater. Um, uh, collapsing after such a fight, we took a while to speak with Brug and set up a plan of what to do. Post this, we find Feven, a elven man in uh, found as one of the few bandits, the members of Croc's gang, still present within the field. He was willing, after some persuading and some medical assistance, to be a part of our little scheme to get back on Croc and mainly help out Brug in his acts of, of reobtaining his daughter, presumably, and to find this missing blacksmith that we were supposed to meet up with, but was not present at the time. We learned that Croc's gang had snagged the blacksmith and took him somewhere, but he is big enough that it needs to be held in a place that might not be too hidden away. We reconvene over at Elmas after scouring this blacksmith's home, and there we uh, take on the roles of episode six, where the entire Rotgoon gang establishes themselves as service people, where Talim becomes um, uh, Merlin from <laughs> Uh, Sword in the Stone movie. I don't know who made that movie, but that sure was a company that made that movie. Not and, sponsored. And, yes, not sponsored. Uh, <laughs> um, and animated an entire kitchen to work for him. Um, Hart manned the bar and failed utterly. Uh, <laughs> while Beetle and well, Beetle were performing a stressful, mind-blowing job, running about and talking to a bunch of people, getting um, racially harassed by the police, and then also, <laughs> of course, we have Grey Crocus with the mental fortitude of that only a veteran of the industry can truly do things. Uh, <laughs> Held everything under control. <laughs> this is Unt really my greatest until... race. Decided to go live in the yes. woods. <laughs> Un yeah. un until the fact that both the illegal mob and the police that are present within this tavern both bribe the Grey Crocus with the idea that they want each other more or less taken care of, quote-unquote. And some acts were performed, for example, poisoning or drugging, rather, uh, Croc's food. However, since we know that Brug works for Croc, and Croc is seemingly some kind of criminal mastermind that we have finally got to see, this massive crocodilian man shoved the drugged chicken over to Brog and asked why don't you have some? In I this, think I, in I this think final it's a good summary. Go, 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 I'm sorry. No, no, I, I, there's one final bit. In this final moment when this happens, Beetle attempts to tell Croc, no, 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 he can have his own. Croc doesn't like that, tells Beetle to go away. Why are you vilifying me? <laughs> and in his drunken stupor and cursed with fate and cursed with failure, Hart hears someone diss his friend Beetle and goes, What did you say to my bro? And that's where the episode cut. That is where it cut. And that earns two hero pipes. Yay! Yes.
Hashtag can I never can dies. I give one to Froggy? Nope. What? Are you serious right now? <laughs> nope, can't do that. There's no exchange right in hero points. Oh. Oh Heart, God. Heart, you need your hero points. You need I them. Oh Keep God. them. It's okay. It just means next time I can go back to summarizing the weeks until Zorin tells me to shut up again. <laughs> Which is a great <laughs> recap. Thank you so much, that Salty, for that. A very good recap. Like, what did you tell my bro? You see I that? Like, yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say, I especially liked the part where Salty covered when the blacksmith got straight Smith snatched, and then he was like, "I'm gonna morb," and he bit the cage, and then he did. I hate it here. I'm leaving. <laughs> Game's over. Yeah, campaign's canceled. Thanks, Beetle. All right. First of all, now this. Thanks. Thanks. <sighs> No, you're not. Oh so, <laughs> so with that, so with that, things do get just a little bit tense as as Croc is looking down at all of you. He's seeing. He's kind of now begins to size you up hard as you're just trying to. As soon as you said, like, what, like, what do you say to my little bro? He kind of it's okay, he's up. just a little bit bigger than me. He, uh, <laughs> he is he ripped. <laughs> he, he is monster daddy to the definition, and he rolls Ooh, up his you sleeves. You can't say that. He rolls up his sleeves and begins to just flex his claws or so. You know, just from no, no even just perception check to kind of uh, check up on him, he will tear you a new one. And so he kind of gets ready and looks at his boy, looks at his boys and looks at Brug and he goes like, you see, I'm trying to make this diplomatic. And he cracks his fingers and he gets ready. But you all begin to hear bells. You guys will hear it, but chat will. And you begin to hear just ting, ting, ting. And there is a commotion outside. There's a commotion outside because there are several Tyrant's Guild members rushing through and one of them bursts through the door. Oh. One of them bursts through the door, sees everything that's going on, but ignores all of you. They ignore all of you. And they look over to the other Tyrant Skilled members as they're inside. It's like, you there, get your troops in line and get the dirt to run us. There's a riot forming. Some revolutionaries are trying to rally the people. And the one that you spoke to, Gray, and the one that nearly just called Beetle just a weird thing or so, just go like, but, but what about, what about the criminal? Like, oh, forget about them. Your duty now is to protect the Martinet. She's trapped inside with these animals. Come on, come on, let's go. And... And as they're all about to leave, and all the Tyrants Guild people, either, like they quickly chug down their stuff and come through. They all just kind of shove their way through, each of them. Just heading out. The one who is the leader here. Forgive me, I have to move a whole bunch of to tokens here. Uh, the leader here will, as they're passing through, Beetle and Heart, because you're the closest, roll me a perception check. Oh, 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 oh. I rolled an 18 for a total of 24. <laughs> I rolled a 14. As I so heart, you got a 24, and yeah, be good. You're 14. Both of you, both of you, hear this as the the assumed captain or kind of like kind of leader of the squad of Tyrant Skilled members. Um, Tones near Croc and we'll be like, we'll stop you. And that crystallized bastard too. We know why you are here. He's like, we haven't forgotten about you yet, Croc. And of course, they will leave. And you will see a large host of Tyrant's Guild members begin to march away. Go. Yeah, as they go to the water, because found you are all hurt. <laughs> They're all dead. And the, 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 the day is safe. I can't believe the tyrants still drowned. One so steps off and they all just follow. 
<laughs> it's called blind motivation, everyone. <laughs> uh, and with that, yeah. <laughs> and with that, Croc kind of getting ready for a fight looks around, and you notice in his in you notice in his eyes he sees an opportunity. He kind of takes his sleeves and rolls it back down, you know, kind of taking his uh, taking his uh, jacket and just you kind of adjusting it back. And he'll look down, down at you two, and then to everyone else and go, Well, boys, I think we've overstayed our welcome. Hey, Elmas, pleasure to have, it, have you again. We'll be leaving now. You yeah. want us to pack your chicken to go? <laughs> he just looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he goes, Nah, you can have him. <laughs> and you'll slide it over. <laughs> and then you will he will leave Beetle, free chicken. <laughs> yeah, can, can Beetle take a bite of the drugged chicken to try and prove that it's not drugged just to like further prove that they were innocent enough to know like up to, up to good can, can he like quickly reach up and like rip a leg off the, sure. the chicken and, and, and roll me a fortitude save <laughs> I absolutely you, you have to be let's say I, let's say you have I, to beat a 20 <laughs> <laughs> Beetle has eaten worse. <laughs> Literally eaten worse. Yeah, he offers to package it up for them, and then when he slides it over, he's like, okay, just rips a leg off and he takes a bite. <laughs> you see, one eye kind of picks up and he just kind of chuckles at you and he goes like, I like you, little, little one. He kind of pats your head and he <laughs> leaves. <laughs> why, why does everybody keep doing that? Why does everybody? I'm not a dog. Why, why do I get the same treatment that dogs get? <laughs> I'm wearing and, uh, clothes. As he's as he's beginning to leave, um, he'll look back like, Brog, I think you want to come with us, boy. And Brog will look at all of you, and he'll nod and he'll he'll nod and it, like kind of like confirming to all of you it's gonna be okay. And uh, he will, he will leave with them. You broke. Oh. Ray kind of like leans over the the bar. She's just like, oh. <gasps> <gasps> I like peed my pants relief. there. You don't oh, have pants. pants. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so Celine. <laughs> Yeah, as you um, as you're over there in the kitchen, you'll see um, you'll see Mom Thelma come out, yeah. and she'll she'll look at you and be like, "Hey, nice job, nice job with all the uh, all the cooking player thing." We, uh, he's like, "If you ever stop wanting to do this all, you know, stay haunting around the place a little bit more and stop the running around trying to get yourself, you know, exercise. You could, you probably stay here and become a full time cook if you like." Dilly will kind of like, uh, he'll look around and he'll kind of like, like a thinking just he's like, he's like, should anything ever become too dangerous for me, I will take it into deep consideration. Right, and also. Here's the payment, and she will hand you, uh, hand you over ten gold pieces. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, shiny. <laughs> nice. And she'll, uh, come over. <laughs> she ran to the wall. <laughs> she'll come over to you. Thank you, thank you. That's pathetic. Mama Helma, or uh, not Helma, <laughs> Thelma will come over to you, Gray, or you, Gray, and we'll go, uh, that's an absolute pleasure. That's a pleasure. Thanks for keeping everything kind of sorted and not letting them kill each other. Yeah. Oh. And so we have payment. She will also hand you ten gold. <gasps> oh, thank you. It was it was getting really tense. Um, Alma Thelma will come over to you, Beetle. And go like, very good job to you too, Beetle. There you go, ten gold. Thanks for keeping the place under, uh, you know, under a savage disorganization. I thought we were gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not gonna Takes the gold, My bad. shoves it in his fanny pack. 
and uh and the same for you hard uh Thalmo will come up and be like you did actually try holding the fire in both areas i don't know what the crying was about but here you go <laughs> hard, hard looks sad like as if he has failed at something that is like too weighty for this world <laughs> Ten big ones for you. Dude, I failed. I don't deserve these. What are you talking about? We'll, we'll get Brug back. It's okay. He doesn't want them. I'll take them. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, give them, give them to Talim. He earns no! them more than I do. What? Yeah. No, you yeah, yeah, yeah. look at me. Look at me in the eye. And he turns and he looks at you, but both his eyes are going in different directions. <laughs> Hard looks me. back. Yeah. You deserve that 10 gold for all your hard work at the bar. Sure about that? Yeah, man. And I, I saw even when you were getting too pooped, you, you lay down and you became a stool for Gray so Gray could reach the things on the high shelves. It was real good of you. Gray nods. I am pretty big. You're real big. You're a big guy. Yeah. And nobody died! That's cause of you, bro. It's cause of you, man. Is that good? Yeah, take those ten gold. Take them, they're yours. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. And, Thanks, and bro. you yeah, 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 yeah. You got you got you gave them I saw they were eating peanuts, that was you. You did that, you're the peanut guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> yeah, I'm the yeah. peanut guy. Yeah. <laughs> And he takes the money and looks a little bit more hopeful. <laughs> Beetle gives him a go get him type champ slap, but it's on like the back of his calves. <laughs> I like how Chad is just like, gaslighting is a skill. <laughs> <laughs> gaslighting is a deception check. <laughs> gaslighting isn't real. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this, is, this is medieval, not steampunk. <laughs> What was all that? What were, when all those guys ran out, what was that big fuss about? What did they say? There was somebody with something? Revolutionaries. What's that? What's that? Thelma, Jeez. um... Hark's uh, ears perk up. It will, you guys will still hear the bells going off, and normally that would normally you would affiliate like bells or something like that. It's like, hey, like, hey, there's something majorly wrong or something like that. Uh, Thelma, you'll see, um, kind of perking her ears up to it will go... I think we better close close the close the doors and bring the shutters down. Let's uh, <laughs> and, she, and you see that she will uh, oh. close things down. You know, just you know, going through everybody, shutting things off, closing the windows, uh, keeping everything secure, and um, she'll be all like, like hell about you almost done here because things are getting kind of bad outside. And like, yeah, well, well, Jeff's uh, nearly done with negotiations, isn't that right, Hardik? And uh, Holly will go, yes, we're almost done. And then I'll, uh, I'll be on my way. And um, well, with that, Hark Helma will look at you. Go, go, go. Hark turns around to the man sitting by the corner throughout all of this and goes, um, mister, sir? You see, he'll, the, the old man over at the table kind of look up from his book and then look over at you, Hart. Uh, we're gonna like, ah, ah, yeah. There seems to be a revolt, a a cause for action outside. Um, do you wish to stay the night? Ah, yeah, I plan to stay here. It's dangerous outside. I'm too old for that shit. And kind of <laughs> got there his book. Was it? So man, the mood. Gray lifts up like she's she, Gray has poured herself like a glass of wine and she just goes here here and she just fucking knocks it back. She's just like <laughs> Oh my god. Is there any way that I can make your stay here more comfortable except for keeping out the rabble rouse outside? Oh, well um one thing I definitely wanted to talk about the almost about was uh, get, uh, renting out one of the suites today. Hart nods and looks back at uh, one of the older women and he shall be brave. He shall be brave. <laughs> and he <laughs> shall walk forward to one of them and go, mm. excuse me, um, 
Miss Elma, the elder gentleman over by the corner wishes to um, uh, have one of the sweets for the evening. Oh, does he now? Well, tell him it's about a hundred gold. Ooh. It's he, the fanciest him? one and most luxurious room we have. Held your services and such. He looks down at her and can I roll a single, like, lore check of some kind, like a society or whatever, to know that the little amount that Hart has learned about how money works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go for it. Gold Absolutely. So yes, great. Um, I will roll society to see, has Hart realized natural 20 things? <laughs> okay, natural 20. Boy, boy. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. How are you getting 20s on rolls that aren't combat? <laughs> it's, because it's narratively fitting. That's funny. Okay. So That's fair. You would, well. you would know in, in, in the world of time, a gold does go a long way. Uh, if you were just oh, someone yeah. just kind of generally living here, a single gold will, will let you live in the city for a good, for a good chunk of time. You're not going to be able to live. like a week. Yeah, like you're, you're able to survive a good amount. For something to be a hundred gold, that has to come with a lot of luxuries and a lot of attachments to it. Um, oh. So for her to basically just say a hundred gold, just flat out, it's a lot of money. We're talking like if someone comes in here, especially in the Pond's Pilaster, if there is a hundred gold, like luxury suite in this fishery tavern, something yeah, yeah, yeah. special with it. So, but that's what makes Elma so special. Hmm. Uh, Hart like rubs his temple a bit and he goes, so um, uh, I'm, I'm new to all of this, you know. Um, thank you for taking your time with it, though. Uh, are there any cheaper sweets? Just in case he requests it, you know, so oh. I don't have to come and waste a lot more of your time. Oh, well, for a couple of stuff, uh, he can get some of the common bedrooms. For coppers, he can get some of the shared loft, which is basically in the hay bales out back. Or he can pay <laughs> pay gold for his own single room. All right. Thank you so much. I shall not be your bother anymore, except for uh, where would the keys be for said sweets? I take care of that, sweetheart. <laughs> and he puts his hands together and he bows way deeper than like a person should do to <laughs> and someone. And touches the floor. <laughs> yeah, like th 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 this Bonk. is bending over in an almost inhumane manner yeah. uh, towards this small little woman uh, as he almost reveres them as like royalty in how deep this bow is. And then he backs away. He doesn't turn his back until he's like at least five feet away from her. Um, and then he <laughs> swirls back and he goes, a private room or are you searching for something specific one gold at the moment and from what i've heard one gold for a room during a riot is a riotous price i'm so proud of him oh so, my god <laughs> so you've been <laughs> you've been just saying this very out loud even though the table's right over there right yeah but he only repeats <laughs> what was said all right, so, uh, Lauren, Lauren will go, I'll take the sweet. And he drops a bag of gold <laughs> and it goes. The 100 gold sweets? Dash. And he, he looks back at Elman like nods like, yeah, okay. Beetle's head and pokes out from behind her and he's like, can I see it? <laughs> I won't come inside. I just want to see it. <laughs> the night part is going to be occupied, and unfortunately, all the Elma's oil stores have disappeared. Uh, Hart nods like, "Okay, okay, yes, sir, yes, sir." He takes the bag and he uh, he turns back around uh, over to Elma, uh, presents the bag, and quickly gets out of her way. <laughs> Uh, after see after Helma and Thelma see it, they quickly burst into action. And Helma goes, "Please wait here one second, here, sweetheart." And Holly goes, "No problem." 
<laughs> just sipping, just sipping a drink, <laughs> and they and they quickly like swarm like, swarm over to the old man over at the table, and you hear just a bunch of, bunch of oh, it's, it's so good, and then you get this and this and this, and it's just a bunch. And Lauren said, "Is it like, like old yeah. friends?" <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I just, uh, is and, is uh, it like business partners or is it like friends? Like no, more, friends? more or less, they're very excited. Someone paid that much money. Um, okay, and and they're listing off. You get this, more meals, fresh bedding. The bedding's made made of like this, this, and this. Like it's a secured, it's magically locked. It's all this other stuff. Like it is, it is a very large room. You know, it's bigger on the inside than the outside. Bunker? And what? they and they will escort him uh, all the way up, all the way up there, or at least Halma will, as they. Sorry, my thing's being awfully weird today. Let's go hit them all the way up, and they will run into disappear the wall. upstairs. <laughs> they just run into the wall. <laughs> run into the wall. <laughs> Thelma, Another victim. <laughs> Thelma will uh, come up to you two and say, "Well, y'all, y'all can take some of the shared beds tonight. I, <gasps> I, I definitely recommend you don't go outside tonight for free. For free." <gasps> <laughs> did, did you Wait. just turn into a seal? Yeah, that's what Beetle oh, does. Yeah. Okay. Beetle Liz slaps good. his hands like a seal and he starts. Arr, arr, arr. The Liz got to tell your companions. Is a player a fish flies out of the kitchen and Beetle? <laughs> that, that, that sounded way more like a dinosaur from Jurassic Park than a seal for me. Oh, I'm doing my so. best. I'm sick. I can't believe Beetle is a compy from from Ark. <laughs> <laughs> He so totally Thelma, is. He's like a little velociraptor. <laughs> so to just to summarize the the scene up a little bit, so we can uh, just for time's sake, uh, Thelma will will instruct all of you, try to either, either gather you around or, or let you bring it down the grapevine that um th things are not going well outside uh, from it. scene. whenever that bell is wrong, that means the Tyrant's Guild is is out and about. And no one likes being on the street when the Tyrant's Guild is around. There are there are certain procedures that sometimes the Tyrant's Guild do in which to recruit new members. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's, it's sort of similar to like a purge and telling me about to hit a wall with that path. Uh, and <laughs> there's a door. The door is It's all right. I'm there. a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. You can just go whoop. There you go. And um, <laughs> perfect. And, <laughs> and there are times that. Um, that the tyrant skilled will go out into the street and just slaughter people and whoever just kind of uh, like survives a sort of purge and stuff like that they kind of like indoctrinate them into the tyrant skill <gasps> via brutal ways and stuff like that it's not a place that you want to be so so thelma recommends that you stay here for the night and she will it's bar a military up the gang yeah they, they they bar up everything and let's you know like you probably want to stay here um yeah, yeah. And so they, they all became things. members of the Tyrant's Guild to hunt down Tannhauser and his rabble-rousing band of dissidents. <laughs> no, Hart would never be a policeman. <laughs> so, so with um, so with that, you guys are able to rest for the night if you wish, unless there's anything you guys want to do before. Hmm. Rest sounds good. Rest sounds oh. good. Good. Okay, so you guys are going to take a big honk snoo, and you're yes. going to rest. Me, 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 yeah. me, 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 me. You're going to rest for the night. Me, 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 me. Yeah. And you'll also hear, uh, actually, all of uh, Talim, roll me a perception check. I will roll that perception check. Um, wait, hold on. Where the? Oh, there it is. I have the stream window open. I rolled a. Uh, 16. 11. Oh, yeah, 11 for a total of 16. And with your 16, you you hear throughout the night that uh, the Helma and Holic have been talking to the thing, and your business side picks up. It kind of perks up a little bit as you hear Holic and Helma begin to finalize discussions of opening an alchemy production here in Elma's tavern. And Holic will say, like, Who will my friends should be? I have already sent out a message. My friend should have, should deliver my cart here in a day. So we should be able to set up soon and I can sell so many wonderful things. Ooh. 
Ooh. <laughs> oh, that is a, that's, a, that's a fancy little nugget of information that um, make sure to store away in my turban. <laughs> Except Talim's a ghost, so when he goes, ooh, it sounds like, ooh. Ooh, everybody like wakes up and they're like, ain't <laughs> rat <laughs> Everybody's like, wait a second, is this tavern haunted? And he just sits there and looks over at them. He's just like, really? Really? Is it haunted? Okay. <laughs> so what you'll see happen, you'll also see a little Tugbird having cute little honks news in one room. He paid premium. And um Good for him. Yeah, no, he knows what he's doing. Um yeah. so what'll happen as the day comes up and i love this in founder you can actually click transition the daytime it'll transition the daytime go and then it turns all in the day Aww. so what will so what will happen so or what's going to happen now is that how many dead corpses are there on the outside oh. <laughs> throughout the night and how much money do they have on them? <laughs> oh <laughs> just start God. looting all the dead bodies what you hear outside is not great. You're hearing you're hearing panic and things like that. And what you also begin to hear is some bells going around and some and some riders uh, riding on undead horses and they have pistols on their hips as you kind of look outside the tavern windows ever so often because they will begin ringing a bell all throughout just going like Looking for five vigilantes. What? Looking for five vigilantes. Uh -oh. Murderer of Tyrant's Guild. Murderer of the Martinet. Have you spot anyone with glowing eyes, a winged fiend, a triangle bucket head, and a one of blue skin and, and one of bark? Uh. Report to your nearest Tyrant's Guild member. And he was like, Talim was like peeking out through shutters. And he's like, he's like, oh, he's like. Before the descriptions, Beetle like starts counting the group on his fingers, and he lands on four. <laughs> yeah, he lands on four, and he's like, oh. <laughs> Wait, did I only mention four? Like, on his head. <laughs> that it should be also one. One with glowing. Did I forget to say? I think I forgot to mention townhouses. <laughs> no, you, one, said, wait, you did say yeah, one with glowing eyes. eyes. Yeah, yeah. One with glowing <laughs> eyes. One with winged things. No, I said five. <laughs> no, yeah. I said five. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Beetle was counting the group. That, oh, like, okay. Their I'm, group. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, you no, made me like doubt it's myself. It's, <laughs> we're both sick. It's me. Yeah, we're, we're both sick. My mind's going a mile a minute because, like, <laughs> it's like I put my AC at the sixty-five and I'm burning because. Because the yeah, fever yeah, yeah. is just going for it. Um, <laughs> so my mind's all addled. So, so you begin to hear that, and you begin to see posters start coming up. And even inside of Elmas here, you see a Tyrant Skilled member come in and start talking to the Elmas. And the Elmas kind of nod as they put up a poster. I unfortunately don't have artwork of this. Like, if you kind of look behind the bear's head, it'll be kind of like that thing is a reference even in the overlay. That there's a uh, bounty pages now of one and they all and they all pretty much just have a description of who these characters are and uh you see one looks like a strix one looks like this weird tree man one looks like this weird just kind of like cloaked figure with green goggle like eyes the other one has like a circle metal head with like a little bar in the middle. Mm -hmm. And you have one that has like a very fancy hat with uh with very flourishy clothing and long hair and so and then it's a female. Um you see all of them just kind of put up as as bounty pages. Oh. And uh and you see the reward for them is is pretty substantial. Uh, how how substantial are we talking? I don't want to say the number yet because I think I need Thurston to write off on how much he wants uh, the Rock Grind Gang to be <laughs> be hunted oh down for. God. I don't want to say a number now, and then we oh we, we get to a point, and it's like, uh oh. <laughs> why do I? Why, why do let's we... let let's say percentage wise, if you caught these people, you would be rich for the rest for for a good good chunk of your life. Oh. And so. even your own life, even your own <laughs> life, might be. <Yeah. laughs> I like that one's hat. 
why do I why do why do I feel the overwhelming urge with the the one with the, the goggle like eyes to look at him and ask him to show me a good time? <laughs> no! I, I don't know, man. But all I know is that I'm a bit jealous. I want my face up there someday. No, no. you don't. No, do you, wait, do you no. do you say that Hurt. as the tyrant guild member is standing there putting the no 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 okay. after they leave and like it's just there. Talib yeah, yeah. like looks like Talib looks up at heart, like narrows his eyes. Is just like, well, at least you have goals. <laughs> yeah, I want everyone to know who I am. Not, not like Hart, this. Do you, do you know what this board is for? Hart? No clue. These people are wanted. They're criminals. I think that the big number it makes them better, right? No. I... no. You know what? Yeah. Okay. We'll yeah. go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try those. There's there's a, a saying I'm going to need to teach you hard. It is called. It mm. is uh, said as discretion is the better part of valor. Who are they? I don't know, but I think it's pretty nifty how that bucket grew a whole body. Look at that <laughs> guy. <laughs> this is going to be a process. That's a walking bucket tree. right there. That is a walking tree. Yeah, walking tree in a, in a bucket. Huh. Um, so I you guess can't... this is good news, right? What if all the sound outside last night was just them looking for these guys? <laughs> probably. So yeah, we're no. probably fine to go outside. Or, or the are... reason why they're being looked for. You would you would know that um that outside that there have been a lot of just like people just kind of riding trying to push back against the tyrant's guild. It, it was a good it was an honest to god revolution <laughs> that attempted itself and did not get as much headway as it needed to be. So you you saw some activity happen throughout the ponds Palaster, but uh it, it's it's since quieted down. And during this time, I would now like to ask everyone, what would you like to do during your downtime? <gasps> so you are in Alma's Tavern and as, as you let a day or two go by, you let things kind of calm down because in a citywide event like this, you know, a lot of things, it takes a time for things to develop. Tyrant skills is still on the out looking for stuff. They're all still out and about. I would now have to ask everyone, what would you like to do during your downtime? Now, for downtime stuff, in which let me go ahead and switch things over to this. Let me activate over to our backdrop here. That you're still in the Pond's Palaster, but you can go anywhere. Uh, you can kind of go anywhere. We can go around the Pond's Palaster, look for shops, things like that. Um, try to be careful of things going around, but what would you like to do during your downtime? I, I want to go through Rook's Palaster. <laughs> it's like, okay. No. no. Uh, There's a plaster uh, it would there. Be, it, would be, <laughs> tall thing. It, would be super, it would be super fun to, like, go and visit any of the other Palasters someday. But uh, uh, I, I know one thing that I want to do, uh, and that requires one additional person. Uh, and I think that all three of my friends uh, can can be the individual to do this but uh, i just want to state one single thing that i want to do during my downtime otherwise heart will probably help other people with like oh i am going shopping okay heart can be your pack mule and stuff like that whatever heart heart will help his friends but uh, during this time heart will work out and he wants some one of his friends to help him write a letter to his dad Ooh. oh Uh, great, great, great will help write the letter. Okay. Okay, I'll have uh, I'll have Hart and Gray do that. Uh, oh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna start going from left to right to kind of figure out who or what and who's doing what, what are with with their downtime right now. So in Pathfinder Second Edition, for people kind of neither new to the game and stuff like that, there's a lot of things you can do for your downtime. There's things you could roll that's going to generate money. Uh, you can try to use this time to craft things. There is the Treasure Vaults book that came out very recently. Uh, I have not had the chance to peruse through that and memorize everything. I'm only mm -hmm. human. I only have so much time to mm -hmm. memorize books, and even then, that's a challenge. So forgive me for not doing all of that. Um... I but can't one of the things, human and have limitations. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like some people was like the new books out. Memorize the entire thing. It's like, dude, <laughs> like, memorize the entire new crafting system, like, Soren. And it's like, I, I, I got shows to run. And with um, you know, with this type of kind of a downtime and things like that, this allows your players to basically go. I need to restock on items. I want to spend the gold that I've acquired, or maybe they want to make more gold some way. Maybe they want to go off and go pedal things. Maybe they want to. Maybe they have family members in town. Maybe Definitely do that and figure out some to, stuff. Uh, get more more bolts and some potions. I am starting to run low, and I'm sure Beetle is also. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Flashbacks so, the last five subs. <laughs> yeah. So I will. Uh, I will look at uh, for you for Numenera for Gray. What what does Gray want to do on her downtime before helping Heart? Uh, she's honestly just going to be kind of uh, listening about for any news on what's going on out there because uh, traveling while things are so tense is just not a great idea. Uh, so she's she's mostly kind of keeping it down low and just listening for anything in particular that's going on. Okay, so you do not want to restock in any ammunition. Well, I mean, yeah, I have to restock too, but she uh, yeah, she is going to go out and restock, but she's doing the listening at the same time. Okay. Uh, how? Go ahead and roll your perception check. We'll make sure you're good. Can also roll a diplomacy for gathering information. That is a nine. I would like to re-roll that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please, God. That is an eleven. That is not much better. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I was like, all right, I'll note that down. Um. But you are able to you are able to find find some folks who do know how to craft bolts and things like that, and they can buy that for you can buy it from them. Uh, do you want to do that? Yes. Are okay, Beetle many... and Gray going shopping together for bolts? Absolutely. I mean, if Gray's like, "Hey, I need things," Beetle's gonna be like, "I have two bolts," and run after her. <laughs> Gray's Gray is like holding Beetle's hand as they're like walking around shopping. She's like a, a grandma and her grandson. Heart, heart carries the bags. That's so cute. Okay. I really want specifically 40 crossbow bolts, if that's okay. That's okay. So I'm going to allow you guys to do the math on that. It is uh, pretty much one silver piece for 10 bolts. Okay. So, so you do I the math on that for you. The system automatically does it for you if you just add the bolts with the plus button. It just takes out of your your gold. Uh, let's find out. It does not. Oh, it doesn't shoot. Okay. Yeah, so you're you're gonna have to do math. No, not math. But if it's one silver piece for ten bolts, and I want forty bolts, it's just four silver pieces. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. So, oh, shit. yeah. I I I put it in. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm uh, silver out. <laughs> All right, Gray, is there anything else you wanted? Uh, potions. I yeah, okay. potions. I want what, those too. What type of potions? Uh, lesser. Okay, each lesser potion is 12 gold pieces. Yeah. How many would you like? Each lesser lesser is 12, so just one. Okay, go and add one and minus the gold. Same and for you, Beetle. Get one. Yeah, I'll also get one. Yeah, so, and you can minus the gold there. Right, so that'll take care of both of you, right? Yes. Awesome. Now I'm going to get to Talim. Yeah. Talim, I think, I think you did a whole bunch of stuff. I have, but there's also some things I want to discuss with the party members since I guess we're all going out on a, sharp, <laughs> on, on, on a, like a, a sharping trip. A sharping trip, yes. Sharp 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 like shopping, but with knives. No. <laughs> um, so... Like, uh, I guess since we're all uh, going around and stuff like that, and I, I, you know, things are not quite settled yet, but go around in a group for safety numbers uh, or safety purposes. Uh, we still have that emerald to pedal. Mm. And uh, so... Uh, which, do you have an emerald? No, in, in our, like, in our party loot, we have a total of 129 gold pieces and we have a 100 gold piece uh, emerald that we can mm. sell. Oh, we okay, have. okay. Yeah. We also Remember, have, it says total yeah. wealth as it's accumulating all the stuff inside that loot together. You don't have any. Gold oh, okay, gold okay, gold. okay. Never mind. I misread yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, so we actually we have we have a hundred gold piece emerald. I have a suggestion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
So what we can do is we can probably take that to a um, somebody who deals in gems and or magical gems, and we can peddle that for a um, particular magical uh, magical thing that I'm looking for, which will ultimately assist us because uh, I actually want to make these, but to make them, I need to understand how they're made, so I need to have one. Mm, yeah. Okay. And for the farmers and stuff, you're going to need to buy them. So, you're going to need the money for that, too. We can probably Are find we... that with a society ro- lore or a underworld lore. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, if we can go, we could peddle that emerald. I'm on, I am on the lookout for a formula for a, uh, e curly white spindle aeon stone. Dang. And that is one of the things that I'm going to be looking yeah. for. But you know what you should probably do that shattered <laughs> not too uh, recently? You should probably look for a new shield. That as well. Um, but also, as we're going and getting those um, those potions and everything like that, do those potion sellers also have uh, possibly formulas available for lesser oils of unlife or even lesser health potions as well. So for you, I'm going to have a solution for you. So for Talim, I'm going to say you're going to start looking around for stuff and you're not going to quite be able to find exactly like exact things you're going for. Even though you're in a city, city of outset, there are magical items and things could lure that like this is the place to find artifacts and weird magical things and, and stuff like that. But the Aeon Stones are a bit for a little bit different. So and for the oil of unlife, you, you you believe you're able to find it. You're able to find oils of unlife just fine. There's a lot of undead okay. creatures here that live in the city of Outset. You're able to find right, one and from, just from your likeness and, and ability to craft and stuff. Uh, I'll give you the formula. You're, you're A-OK. You know how to do that stuff. For the, Aeon, for the Aeon Stone, Aeon Stone, I will hold on for you uh, as I go for someone else. I'll I'll come, ring back around that later. Uh, okay. Beetle, I think you're done. Uh... Your stuff. I've done the shopping, but I also just as like, I guess, flavor text, Beetle will go visit his mother and I guess 12 yes. sisters. I don't remember how many yes, sisters. The number yet. changes depending on the weather. I, I, I think I keep changing the number. So it's 12 today. Uh, he goes to visit his mother and 12 sisters, and he's going to give his mother all 10 of his gold pieces that are left. Oh, yeah, because he's helping her pay for a mortgage. Also, also chat. I, the chat, anyone listening to the podcast, I, I I need art of Gray with Beetle on a child leash right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's just holding his tail. <laughs> oh, and a reminder for everyone in chat that uh, Beetle's mom and the rest of his family probably doesn't look like him. <laughs> Beetle's in He's an unfortunate the- taffy puller accident. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Or, or mm-hmm, was it mm-hmm. a machine accident? <laughs> is the taffy puller a machine? Is the taffy Find puller out next machine? time. Oh, what is rock, the taffy you puller? No. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Beetle was not adopted. No, he fell into a taffy puller. Yeah. That's why he's long. <laughs> yes, the taffy puller. <laughs> the taffy puller. The taffy puller. So for no heart, horror of outsets. <laughs> so for heart, is there any downtime activity you want to do? Uh, yes, Soren. Uh, when Talim goes to get uh, himself a shield, Hart will, like, look over, hear him buy a shield, and remember things like, huh, since Hart has been notably learning from every single one of his friends. Uh, throughout this thing. He has learned about money. He has learned about a bunch of new words. He has learned about the concept that it's fine to eat someone during a fight fr- from Grey. Uh, 
Uh, he, he learned about maybe not standing uh, out in the middle of everywhere from Beetle, uh, learning how to sneak and take initiative. And one of the things that Talim has taught Hart is the concept of blocking. And Hart wants to buy a shield as well. Okay, what kind of shield? A... Uh, the shield that matches his outfit the best. <laughs> okay, that still doesn't help me. What kind of shield? <laughs> uh, st steel shield. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Tower, steel shield tower is shield would gold. be Tower shield would be hilarious, but no. Yeah, steel shield is two gold. Yeah. A comically small steel buckler. <laughs> yeah, just a little tiny one. It's a yeah, wristwatch. Like somebody in chat was just like, a wicker shield. I imagine heart shield bashing some with it, and it just explodes. <laughs> it All right. somebody so hard with it, it just... <laughs> All right, so just to clarify, and just to quickly summarize this so we don't get stuck in shopping episode for too long. Yeah. Um, Gray, you're good. Beetle, you're good. Yeah. Uh, Talim, did you get your shield? Um, yeah, I was looking for a, uh, heavy, uh, steel shield. Yes. So that's two gold, right? Uh, heavy steel shield? Or, uh, it's sorry. Uh, just, yeah, just, yeah, just the... Just steel shield? Okay, you already yeah, have that on your character sheet. So yeah, just minus two gold if that's the one you're okay. buying. And yeah. you're good to go. Um, they're placing it. Yeah. And in heart, you got your stuff. Everyone's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. your Aeon Stone thing, we'll have to figure that out later. So... Yeah. But that you guys finish it off and you return back to Elma's Tavern. You guys return back to Elma's Tavern to kind of reset things. You notice that Holic is uh it's kind of excited to see you guys come back. He's like, oh friends, it's uh it's so good to see you again. Hi, Holic! Hi, doggy. Hello, dear. How are you? How are you? <laughs> I'm in a, uh, I'm in a bit of a pickle. If you could, uh, oh, help no. me out. You're no, inside you're in of a cucumber? No, you're in a seat. I can see you right now. He's like, I very adorable. think he means he is facing some sort of difficulty. Oh. Yes, I'm having a bit of a problem. You see, my, um, my friend, my acquaintance, was supposed to be here with my cart, and unfortunately, he has not arrived in a couple days. I would love it if you went out and try to find him in my cart. Without it, I have no job. Uh, I'm... Yeah, I, I don't see why not. Things are kind of weird right now. I would greatly appreciate it as a return. I'll be able to brew up a whole bunch of interesting things. And he looks over to Talim. Share a couple of my famous recipes. Talim will like look back at Holic and he's just like, I do love a good business transaction. <laughs> cool. We need another montage with them. <laughs> <laughs> I just think about have you guys seen Kronk's new groove when they're yeah. making raisin bread <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes I'm <laughs> all of them stirring a pot <laughs> and kneading out raisin bread <laughs> I love it here <laughs> Pollock okay. Pollock will, will not you all and he goes good I uh I loaded up a cart of mine with a couple of horses, and it has uh, a lot of my items inside. I asked a friend of mine, you'll know, you'll find him by the name of Baron Stackwall. You will find him as a stout dwarf with a golden beard. He will have a metal helmet on with a candle, and he's usually accompanied by his cute little basset hound named Nugget. Let's go oh, right now! No. We have to go right now! 
and I Beetle takes off Nugget running at Note of Nugget. If anything happened to him. <laughs> this is very good coincidence. My dog's name was Nugget. <laughs> we have to go get Nugget right now! <laughs> goes, oh, well. I wish you all luck. He should be somewhere in the ponds, but last her. Yes, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll get on that. Beetle's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> like how Beetle's just, just run out, just run out into the city. Like, no no plan whatsoever. <laughs> just gone. And to lean, um, for, yes. for, for just for, one of, for a bit of your downtime, I'll allow you to be able to make one oil of one life. Nice! Um, uh... Yeah. I mean, I'll help you out here. Hold up. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, can I make the the? Okay. Was I able to? So find crafting, the so crafting rules for this. Um, I haven't messed with this in Foundry, so I'm new to this as well. This is a good. Mm. I don't want to learn live on stream. So what I'm gonna right. do? I'm gonna I'm gonna say game master Royce, you succeed this role, and then off stream, I'm gonna figure this out for you. So I can summarize it really quick if you want. Uh, let's not do it on stream. I'm just gonna okay. I'm just gonna give you four four minor ones here, and then we're gonna move on. <laughs> like, just to, like, sounds good. I, I, I don't like to. I want you to have a challenge and figure it out and all this other stuff. But let's just say Holic helps you out, and then and then to move on. I I don't like doing it myself. I know there's a lot of game masters out there who can be like, dude, <laughs> like figure your shit out. I understand. <laughs> I get it. I've, I've been sick all week. <laughs> no, it, no it's, it's perfectly fine. Like, it's perfectly so. fine. Like, we can talk about it later. I can summarize it very easy because I've been no life studying it. So. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> apologize. It's going to be a bit of a weird episode. Of... No, you're fine. You're fine. So. I'm just happy I got to make potions that actually work for me. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a it's a Pond's Plaster miracle. I don't know so what as you and the plasters are. As you guys head out. <laughs> heads out there are various ways to look for um look for somebody inside of a city and one of the things you can do is use your various skills to try and find a way uh to track somebody down you can look throughout your skills and if you can make a convincing argument to use some of them that's great but if you need an idea of which ones to concentrate on um maybe look at mercantile maybe you know that uh, Baron was bringing a cart out. Where do yeah. carts go? Merchants use cart. Maybe there's a route somewhere. Uh, diplomacy, uh, talking to people, trying to figure some things out. Survival, maybe mm -hmm. you're looking for tracks, things like that. Society, maybe you're like, okay, well, what kind of similar routes, things like that, what type of people would probably know, things like that. What what uh, what uh orders or businesses would help manage that type of stuff, who does the checks and balances. And, um, and then various other skills could also help you out get different types of information. Like they're not going to give you like a hundred percent of the answer, but they give you context clues. So you as a team can put it together when you're out and about looking for this guy. So, okay. so for that, look throughout your skills for a little bit. And once you're kind of confident and once you're kind of like, okay, okay, you got, you got an idea. Uh, let me know what would you like to try skills wise? Yeah, I I have pursue a lead. So if we could like ask around for the horse drawn cart or like wax from from the the dwarf's candle, if we, if we ask if like anybody's found any little wax drops on the road or something like that, then I can follow footprints and stuff like that. Oh yeah, beetle coming in clutch. Yeah. And if that doesn't work. If that doesn't work, Gray has a uh, has her sniffer. She can try and smell the dog. She can try and smell <gasps> for Nugget. Yeah. Plus, yeah. Plus, if he was coming from Holic's place, we we could. Tr I guess it's not tracing our steps back, but it, it sort of is. We could go from Elma and Thelma's to, like, down towards the 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 the, the you know what I'm saying the sewer. We could backtrack On and try and that? figure out what way they'd have gone. On that note. Kaleem can actually use his tireless undead state and oh. athletics to basically um, float about the area, uh, trying to backtrack and see various routes that they may have gone and actually going and checking those routes himself. Hmm. Let's go. What one do you guys want to do? 
It's like, so each person could do their own different thing. I'm just letting you guys yes. solidify what you want oh. to do, and I'm going to give you default stuff. I was okay, also okay, going okay. for time, because I also yes. wanted to show uh, an awesome rock grind map, <laughs> or the City of Outset <laughs> map, yeah. that oh, yeah. was yeah. trying to load. If you, if you guys want to give me a second here, I'm trying to, like, quickly export it, because the version I did have uh, <laughs> didn't. Oh no, uh, too large. Uh, it, uh, oh, yeah, no. it was, was 11,000 by 7,000 in song. Oh, that's pretty big. And I was like, ow. Ow. How detailed is it? I don't even it's make a... live 2D models in that resolution. Oh my God. <laughs> the quality we, um... of this show is freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel real bad because uh, I haven't had time to super pre prepare there because I've been all disheveled Bro, all the night. Like, There's no reason to feel bad. <laughs> oh my God. You've been sick. Yeah, even dying. Shit. See the, the Photoshop file is so big. It's taking time to transport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, come on, Photoshop. Let's go, Photoshop. You can, you do, can it. do it. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on Adobe. You come got on, Adobe. this, Photoshop. Give us your energy, chat. We need your energy. Yeah. Well, uh, those of you who are listening, raise your hands in the air. It's like a spirit bomb. <laughs> <laughs> come on, CPU. You can do it. You can Channel render your... further beyond. Channel your hope in the Zorin CPU. Ha! This resolution, it's over 9,000. It is. <laughs> Like I was just a bunch of raised hands in chat at the moment. Like, <laughs> CPU, sorry. Come on, you Adobe piece of garbage that no one should really be paying a sub fee for. Let's go. Come on. And then you have to pay to cancel your sub fee. I'm Dude, gonna, fuck oh that shit. Oh my god. I hate Adobe so much. I hate Adobe oh. so much. I'm sorry, Adobe. I hate I, you. I'm sorry. I, I, Yo, I, ho, ho. Like I threatened, like I basically canceled. They, they. Th I remember the member the uh, the last time I had to deal with them. Um, I went to cancel. They tried to say like, okay, you have to pay ninety seven dollars in for cancel. I'm like, I'll just charge yep. back, and you can ban the account. I'm like I yep. don't care. Oh. I'm, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of you. And they're like, oh well, uh, okay, we'll waive that. Uh, we can keep you in. I was like, you pay, make me pay just very little money a month for Photoshop, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, okay, okay. So. <laughs> It's, it's a retention thing. They do it for everybody, but I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, man. <laughs> I changed the clip studio. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're literally going to charge you money to cancel you, or I could just call my bank and be like, any charges that come from this business, deny them. Yeah. <laughs> Inside, like, oh, no. They're not with me. They're not the real OG. <laughs> <laughs> They're not That's a good funny. person. <laughs> That's fucking funny. I may or may not have had to do that in the past with like other places that had predatory subscription options. And they're just like, yeah, your payment has a process. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's Flash not going to. Like, yeah, why don't you just, well, it's you like, owe this for this. So I'm just like, you can see I haven't logged into this time. Cancel my account. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel it! Puts pointer finger and thumb under shirt, flexes them. I have a gun! Cancel it! <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a gun, madam. You are wearing a sweatshirt and that is obviously a banana in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Froggy, I heard, well, I heard you haven't had any potassium today. <laughs> 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 so, so there it are hurts. people. There are people who are allergic to bananas. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You could what? make that an actual threat. I, yeah, one of my friends is allergic. I can't believe Adobe is allergic to bananas. <laughs> I can't. Psychologically I can. allergic to bananas. Right, I had to do this low res, or else it'll kill Foundry for all of you. So here's. Right. Uh, oh no! Up. Holy so It's so good. So here, uh, you can get this in some of the PDFs and stuff. This is the city of. Uh, the city of Outset. You guys, oh my uh, God. all you throughout the city. What PDF? Yeah, you get this Where on our Patreon. Those? Over at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Uh, I want to go to the bean. funny bean poll. It's Kelly Bean or our film goes here. You guys are here at the Ponds Palaster, all the way at the top left here. Hey, so we go southeast to the bean pole? Yeah, yeah. Soren, I, I have one singular question. Yes. Are the buildings near the Rook's Palaster freaking 
like is that art deco buildings in a fantasy setting yes That's pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> so as you I guys also are have here, one question yes can we go southeast to the bean pole <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> what if there's a giant at the, at the top of the bean pole huh I moving on what if i what if i change my name to jack moving on for time <laughs> yeah. uh gray uh what did you want to do to try to find baron I wanted to focus on using the set, trying to find the scent of his dog, Nugget. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Would so I you're going around just trying to, trying to, trying to smell, trying to, trying to go through the various yeah. dogs and stuff. Uh, there's not like a smell roll, but what you could do is survival. That would be a survival roll. That yeah. you're looking for tracks and things like that. So uh, roll me a survival smells. Tape. Your DC is probably lowered by a frog tongue. Uh, Are you happy? 16. Are you happy with that? I have choice I paralysis. I, I can't believe Zoran pulled out the, are you sure about that? <laughs> I, I, will, I will say this now. I will say this now. My thing that I wanted to do, since heart is whiz, I wanted to just help whoever was going to do the tracking. I was going to roll survival for aid and other. So um, can, can I roll aid to help uh, Min? <laughs> Do you sure can. You sure can, but Minerva needs to decide for Gray if Gray wants Shit. to re-roll that or not. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'll take the aid. Okay. Okay. Uh, Heart and go and try to try to aid. Here's my aid. I rolled Let's an go. eleven for a, total, for a total of seventeen, increasing Gray's result by two. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna keep that noted down for now. Uh, Talim. Yes. What, would you what would you like to try? Uh, Talim would like to use his his re the restless uh, dead you know like uh, tirelessness of his condition and uh, use athletics to actually go and um, Hello, okay, uh, hustle through like uh, a bunch of possible routes that they could have taken. I do apologize. That music thing of a random guy singing that went on the music track distracted the hell out yeah. of me. It, it, me too. <laughs> Perfectly fine. It, My ears um, snapped onto the and then I came back like, to the end of Talib's <laughs> sentence and I was like, oh. Uh. It was, it gave me such I I suddenly became a Charlie whiplash. Brown parent. It was insane. Oh my God. I'm so embarrassed <laughs> today. <laughs> Everything's going don't, wrong. Don't. Anyway, right. go ahead, Talib. What, uh, to go ahead and roll. Okay. Go, go ahead and roll your check. So you basically just see like just a, a ghost just flying through the ponds blaster looking for a dwarf. Um, and <laughs> I rolled a oh, 19 whoa. Uh, for a total of 27. Excellent. Use your athletic to move around. Just going, just just trying to cover as much ground as possible. Looking around the city is very hard. So good roll there. I yeah. got that noted down. Uh, Beetle. Your your so, investigator skills do apply here, as you yay! wanted to. So, I want to use my pursue a lead. So every ten minutes, I I'm crawling on all fours, snorfing along the ground, trying to find you know, like I said, wax drips or or little residues from potions that seem out of place. Uh, I'm I'm looking for maybe a bottle fell out. I'm looking for things that smell like holic, like that spicy smell. I'm looking for the little wax drops. Did I say that already? The little wax yes. drops from the door. The uh -huh. Spicy holic smell. I'm looking, <laughs> oh I'm looking for, for doggy poo poo. I'm looking for, <laughs> I'm pursuing leads. I'm looking for a lead. <laughs> okay, anything. Beetle is a search and rescue kobold. Thank you, chat. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not sure what to roll for this. I've been reading the description. And I'm not sure what to roll. Okay, so basically, uh, what you're doing, you're trying to like follow the lead or something like that, because that basically, yeah. if I remember off the top of my head, the triple check just gives you a plus to the roll that you're trying to do. Oh yeah, plus one circumstance bonus to the check. Oh, to a perception check. There it is. Okay, okay. well. I'll, I'll allow perception on this one. Like you're listening out. Maybe it's a basset hound bark. S somehow you mm -hmm. know what that is. Um, <laughs> maybe you're looking for a dwarf with a lantern on top of his head. Like yeah. all that stuff. 
Yeah. Okay. It, it's also specifically if the uh, DM I got allows. 20. <laughs> nice! All right, then. Oh, my lord. Nice! I got 20. Uh, I I think I had personally checked off, so it should have added the plus one if I did that Regardless, right. you're good. I'm good. <laughs> you got the best, honey. Yeah. Yeah. No, you should add one to that. So you peaked at 30. <laughs> so it's a 30. Yeah. So, uh, and weirdly, the dust roll sounds aren't working today. Oh, technical issues everywhere. Um, so you do. So with everyone's either assists and helps and stuff like that. Um, I'll basically some kind of summarize. Talim, you, you begin to find <laughs> find evidences that this this dwarf, uh, kind of kind of came through kind of near the sewer area where you kind of knew Holic more than likely came from where you kind of moved shop from um, right. as you're going through Talim you'll notice um, you'll you'll notice just kind of bits of evidence that there were there was definitely cart movement and scuffs and things here around uh, but never for Gray you'll come in and begin to kind of smell like there's definitely a dog's been around here you know dogs in cities are just kind of like sometimes even considered vermin, there could be just a chunk of them here and there. But you know, this dog seems to have been taken care of. Never so often you see, you get to see or even smell or notice a dog that has been taken care of. And so you you, you track under that scent and you and Talene kind of go forward with it. Uh, you got heart. A specific doggy shampoo. Yeah, yeah. He cares, you know, it smells like berries. He's been, he's, he's, uh, he's been working with uh, with with, with Holick. Holick made it for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, and yeah. Um, and as and as you guys are tracking on, a uh, beetle, you'll begin to start piecing things together as you're uh, perceiving. You start to notice that there that the tracks that the cart was going down on. Um, Normally, you would you would see that there's a kind of a highway or kind of like a kind of loop around system inside of the city where traffic can kind of flow in between the uh, the sections of the city here. You would notice as you're going around that the the cart seemed to veer away, veer away from the main path. And as it goes away from the main path and begins to go down like these kind of back alleys or so, you begin to notice like streaks and crumbling bits here and there. And in one place where you see there's like skirt marks, a lot of like kind of like, like kind of like a scuffle thing in the cart abruptly at the tracks of it abruptly, abruptly change. You notice that there's streaks of like, like fire marks around the walls of buildings and busted out windows, which have now been boarded up with wood and uh, evidence of like some crossbow bolts just kind of embedded in some nearby wooden uh, kind of standings in some of the other houses. Definitely something happened here. Um, but you guys have followed the trail, you notice that the dog and any, you know, wax drippings or anything else like that is no longer following the trail of the cart. And you start to follow more and more that the... So sorry, the thing I was trying to queue up did not want to queue up correctly. The, the thing that you were pretty much trailing now has brought you here and this section here seems a bit familiar to you as you do remember that this is where you kind of met Brug in this way and you notice that there was a building that you passed before uh, you guys come up to this sort of alleyway cross section it's stone flooring there's moss just kind of like covering up bits and places here stone buildings with shingles and stuff surround you and you see that the day is starting to get a little bit dark. But in front of you, you see that there is a sort of tavern-like establishment, and there are horses outside. And they all seem to be tied up and stuff like that. And you hear just a little bit of commotion inside the building. But Beetle, you are confident that the trail leads there. Oh, no. What if Croc got Nugget and, and Baron Stackwall? <laughs> Oh man! I didn't even bring the chicken in a takeout box. I think we're past that. <laughs> uh, so we hear commotion coming from uh from said building, All right, Soren? Yeah, you, you hear a bit of a rousing bits, and there's kind of general tavern type 
you know, soundscapes coming through a little, a little bit louder than you would normally hear it from the outside, especially with a place with no windows. All right. So, uh, Tenlin will actually, uh, he'll turn around and he'll look at, uh, both Bray and, uh, Beetle and, you know, kind of tilt his head to the side and be like, so is this where the, the trail leads us? I'm, 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 I'm hundred percent confident. Nose, nose, something like that. I don't know. Time-wise, this matches up, too. Because Hollick's buddy was trying to bring all the stuff over, like, the night of all the, the bad shit, right? So, Croc probably left, found a beer, and, and stole all the spice. He's probably spicing in there. Well, Oh, he's um, spicing. <laughs> can, or, can I look around? Are there any, like, symbols or, like, the territory markings? Or what I would recognize as territory markings, or would you prefer that I throw like lore underworld for any of that, Soren? Oh yeah, gang uh, signs. Uh, either perception or underworld so will give you different types of information. Uh, if you're looking okay. around just for signs, just to find a sign, it would be like perception. Um, right. If you if you find a sign and want to learn more about it, that would be underworld. So probably try perception first. Okay, so roll perception. I'm going to roll a. 14 plus 5 for a total of 19. Nice. Cool. So what you will oh, notice a little bit further this way, right by the door, there will be a sign that's hanging over it. A little bit broken. A little bit a little bit broken. Uh, and the, the sign's kind of hanging off a little bit, but you'll notice that it, the sign says it is the cackling jackass. And there's a little plaque that's kind of near the door that says under renovation. Okay, can I, uh, can I now roll, uh, Underworld Lore to see if there's any association with the uh, Jackling Jackass, any known criminal groups? Absolutely. All right. And so I will do that and that it, hold on, I have to pull, pull I have to pull my skills back up. There we go. All right. <laughs> so I roll, I've got a place plus eight to that. And I rolled a 15 for a total of 23 on my Underworld Lore. With Underworld Lore, you would know that the cackling jackass was under a criminal organization of some sort. You don't know exactly who, but you know no one really wanted to mess with it. Um, but you do know that something has happened here, and there's a reason why it says under renovation. Uh, and so, but you'll also notice that it is obviously looks like to be open for business. Um, right. You definitely know new management more than likely came in, took over the building and stuff. You know of no gangs that currently own this thing. But uh, you do know there there used to be an organization that 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 controlled this building. Okay. Um, Talim kind of like he kind of leans back for a second and like he's he's pondering, and then uh, he'll turn around to the rest of the group. He's like, I suggest we maybe look around to see if we can find any evidence of said cart. And good idea. A, I'll smell the horses. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Like, like before he even finishes, it's like, oh, go smell the horse. And then it's just like, it's like, I guess that works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gray looks, Gray looks at Tilly she's just, she's just like, I've, I've stopped asking questions. She just goes. <laughs> oh, so, oh, you know, smells for spice. <laughs> uh, well, made a perception uh, check. Go heart ahead, Hart. will be the lookout. And go ahead and roll in perception check, Hart. That's a 28. Hot rolls today, Beetle. Woo! I rolled a 12 for a total of 18. That is an excellent roll from both of you. Um, so for you, Hart, you see nobody. You see nothing coming in, even just looking around yeah. the windows and stuff. No one's looking at you. Like you could, yeah. you, You're confident no one's keeping an eye on you. Uh, Beetle, as you're snorting horses, um, <laughs> you, would, you would notice. Horse, not even once. <laughs> You Wait, would know horse? that. Are that you doing these... black tar co- uh, heroin? <laughs> <laughs> black tar stallion. Ah. Oh <laughs> you would you would know that um that was wrong, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, as as you're as you're sniffing around the horses trying to get any connection, you know these horses are not related in any way. These aren't Hollick's horses, or, or Baron's. As you guys, 
As you guys are uh, investigating and things, you begin to hear like you begin to hear. Oh, come on, come on, just, just, just give me a moment, and the door will open up, and you see several people will begin just kind of walking out and begin oh. to leave, and you'll hear from inside the tent. Oh, just go, but just give her the chance. I, mean, I, I can pay you later. Just, uh. And you see that they will, they will move off. In a line. Yeah, move off and everything else. <laughs> like, like a, it's <laughs> You're like all snapping together. <laughs> <laughs> like a real gang. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but you'll see that they'll, they'll they'll move away and as they're getting out of here, they're like, like, like no one's gonna no one's gonna take that, you crazy dwarf. Just <laughs> like we're not gonna risk our lives for something like that, especially not now. The tyrant skill's still around. And you see they'll all just, just head off and and that's what you kinda hear that came out of the tavern. Gosh, I have Crazy. Idea. <laughs> Grey's immediately just going to Yeah. Just start heading towards the door. Yeah, you guys should go in the tavern? And I saw like there's like a little alleyway. What if I go and I search the wall for a secret door? I got you to <laughs> I'll call her for you. Yeah, you know oh. you guys could go inside and I can slither in there and start tapping the stones to find a back door. Yeah, yeah, I'll Why? cover for you, dude. And then Why? if I don't find anything, I'll, I'll, I'll come in. But it's worth the check. What if they've got him in a in a secret back room? <sighs> Beetle, do just, <laughs> do whatever you want. Be, be careful. Oh, Beetle, <laughs> Beetle goes oh, down the alleyway and gives the stones a few taps. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> Lee will like also uh, enter and uh, and 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 stand through the. Oh, uh, we'll enter in after. Um, after gray and uh, i guess we spot our dwarven friend uh at the table you can do uh, it's the description as uh, you <laughs> as you enter inside the tavern you will see a golden beard dwarf with a metal helmet on top of his head with a <laughs> candle oh, oh so i cute. love him and oh. And right beside dog. him, you will see his dog or his basset hound companion. Yes. Nugget. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you put these guys in rot grind? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Funny Baron's on the cover art for our character guide for rot grind. He sure is. He sure is, Soren. It's the reason iconic so he can't die, right? He's an iconic, so he can't die, right? He can't right? die, right? He can't die, right? He's iconic. He can't die, right? <laughs> so as he, as you guys come in, you'll see that Baron is petting his dog and going, "Oh, don't worry, Nugget. We'll try to find someone to help out." Oh, don't you worry, Baron's always got an idea. It's like I always have a light bulb on my head. Wait, what's a light bulb? And then. <laughs> To leave, actually enter into the tavern and after hearing uh when somebody was like um like you crazy dwarf no dwarf nobody's going to risk their life for that and uh, <laughs> to leave will actually step in and dramatically like flourish his robes and it's just like it looks like you need somebody who doesn't have to have the worries of risking a life <laughs> you see baron will kind of whip over and see you and he go <gasps> Hi there! Hi, Berlin! <laughs> and of course, Baron is like, Gordon, sit down! Make a Scots business if you're willing to risk your. Looks up, up and down. On life! <laughs> <laughs> Gray is kind of just like rolling her eyes as she pads on over. <laughs> look, 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 all right? Performance is part of good business, okay? But <laughs> to leave, as she turns around, he, he beckons hard in. And it's just, it's like, We'll wait for Beetle to eventually get tired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, wait, let me, let me just go down this alleyway. Heart, so. heart rips onto the door frame and uh, bows below it and uh, walks into the timer with them. I love it how every time Heart enters a building, it's essentially just a scene from the Resident Evil remake. It's He's just Mr. X. <laughs> <laughs> um. As you guys uh, come in, like Baron will, will see you, Gray, walk up and just think of you as a whole different person. And be like, oh, hello there. I ain't Baron. And he'll come up and, tr and then try to shake your hand. 
uh, Great kind of just like awkwardly like reaches over and shakes his head. She's like, ha, uh, yeah, N nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, my name's Berlin. I'm from that Starkwald family where they stock shit high. And hello, <laughs> I'm Berlin. Oh. And he comes up to you and to Liam and is like, good to meet you, my undead friend. I used to have a lot of undead friends of the Baron Starkwald of mine, but they're all dead and gone now. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you come over the heart and begin to shake your hand and go like, Oh, well, you would work excellently in the Stackwald family. You're already stacked, fucking high. So good to see you. Oh, and here's my companion, Nugget, because he's the most precious thing I ever found. <laughs> I love him. I would take a bullet for Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> You can't, you can't have him say that, Soren. You can't have him say that. You can't have him say that in this setting. Death flag, death flag, death flag. Uh, can't so believe as... that Nugget is the most precious thing that Baron has ever found. <laughs> and so as he's introducing you all, I'm now going to switch the scene over the beetle. Who apparently is having a Mission Impossible uh, like session right now, all by himself. DMCA, we have the perfect when there for this. when there is no objective. <laughs> so, Froggy, uh, Miss Froggy objective of Lock, survive. VTuber and artist extraordinaire. What are yeah. you doing? Okay, so Beetle's going down this alley, right? And he's tapping the, the wooden boards and stones along the wall of the tavern, looking for a secret entrance into the back where they're holding Nugget and Baron hostage, and he just keeps going. Never mind, he doesn't fit. Okay, well, he keeps going until no, he doesn't squeeze. fit, and then yeah, have, he yeah, comes around. Uh, do you want Do you want to go around still? I can... Can so, I? Yeah, 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 yeah you can. I just keep uh, going uh, along the wall, just... And that comes it's just like, it's just like, uh, Beetle, what so, are you doing in that alley? My instant response is just like, getting mugged. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's so sad. The rot was cured by people being a random Wait, victim is, of responsible after night crime. This is, this here you see is a window. It's a window. Can Beetle look inside? You know, under renovations, so. Yeah, yeah. Is it blocked? So it's blocked off. I don't know. Check it. Can I? Can I open it? Can I? Is it? I'm. Can I? I'm, I'm you can try. your window. I'm rolling perception. Yeah, go for it. Or you just try <laughs> opening it right up. This is twenty-four perception 24, check. You look around. You notice it's not locked. <gasps> Beetle's gonna open the window. All right, you you open it. Let me uh. Yeah, a beetle opens it and shoves his long nose in, and then he climbs in through the window. <laughs> yeah, I'll move your token for you. It's a, it's a bit misaligned not having on the with child the grid, leash. so forgive me. <laughs> you, you come out of the window and you see that there is a very plush couch, a little bit damaged. Um, you notice that there's some bones underneath. And uh -huh. you will, and you stand on some rugs and stuff, and um, just like just a, a, a grim sitting area. Wait, wait, go back! Did you see there are bones under the couch? Anyway, you're in the tavern. Well, what can, can, I... <laughs> can Beetle? Can Beetle pocket the bones? Sure. You know, yes! they're dwarven bones. Is it a is it a whole skeleton or is it just like like whole chicken ass wing skeleton. bones? It's a whole ass skeleton. Wait, what kind of skeleton? <laughs> you know, it's a dwarven skeleton. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, so Beetle starts taking the skeleton. It falls apart. It's like rolling and falling apart from under his fingers. He's grabbing the bones and shoving them into his into his <laughs> fanny pack from under the couch. He's like, oh god. <laughs> I've got to tell them. I got to tell. And he go, he'll try and pull the couch back over to the window so he can get out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And he can get out and just you, fine. Yeah. Okay. He gets out. The bones are like clattering as he's running with this whole dwarven skeleton. Guys! <laughs> 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 Beetle sounds like an entire xylophone stuffed in a bag. 
<laughs> Gray just whips around. She's just like, what? Barrett's dead! <laughs> He's always covered in it. <laughs> more skeleton. I'll with a bag of bones. <laughs> as soon as you dead. say that, Baron will tap himself. Hi, hi, dead. I'm not like you, yeah, am I? And he'll look at you, Talim. And uh, Talim will actually, he'll like, uh, like, mage hand a chair to like bump into Baron. And he's like, no, I think you're quite corporeal. Uh, oh, knock it! Pinch me! And you'll hear him. And he'll just nibble on Baron. And he'll go like, oh, okay. Don't worry. I am, I am adequately, I am adequately alive. Oh. Yeah, I, I could have told you that. Oh. He looks Lima down at looks the skeleton <laughs> in his hands. He just drops it. He looks over at Gray's like, I told you he would get tired eventually. I don't think he got tired. <laughs> I don't think he got tired. I think he got scared and confused, like the norm. I, hey, yo. I found a whole dead dwarf. Oh, sorry, everybody. You can, I, you know, uh, I'm just sorry. And then he just kind of starts kicking the skeleton out the door with his sorry. feet. He's, he's, yeah, he's like sweeping the bones out the door with his feet because he just <laughs> let a bunch of bones roll into the establishment. He's like, oh, sorry, sorry. He's cleaning it out. I can't believe, <laughs> I, I can't believe so I has a gambling problem. Leash. Walks into a tavern, instantly starts rolling bones. <laughs> so sad. Gambling, not even once. <laughs> and with all the bones just outside the door, Beetle just kind of trots over. Hi, hey, I'm Baron. Thank God I thought you were dead. Oh, good thing you let me know. I was quite scared there. It's nice to meet you. I like <laughs> your face. Do you ever wonder if you ever grazed a wall to bed, you pop your eye? <laughs> if I, if I harm my eye? Hey, it sticks out right in front. You have no protection. What? What? Beetle touches his eyeballs directly. What? Insecure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you look, you look fine, but but I like your bow tie. I used to know a lad who also used to wear a bow tie. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, my mom made it for me. I hated that guy. I murdered oh. him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My pickaxe, and he shows his pickaxe. I, 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 I've oh. known Baron for a, for a few minutes, but if anything happened to him, I would destroy all the pawns blaster and raise an undead army to cleanse the earth. Oh, hey, oh, so where's drastic. where's Holic's cart then? If you're here. Oh, I about that, and he kind of takes off his helmet. And puts off, put turns off his candle and holds it like he's like like kind of ashamed. And he looks at yeah. Nugget, and Nugget gives Kaleem puppy just like dog eyes like of a sadness. floating sitting position. Like like he, he's got an elbow on like one knee. He's like uh huh. When, when he takes off the helmet, when he takes off his helmet, how much dented and like buckled is his cranium? Oh, all fucked up. It's all fucked up. It's molded at this point. It's all square head. It's all square head. <laughs> He used to. It's round now. <laughs> so, so Baron, uh, so Baron will kind of like uh, pet his dog and go, Well, I was, you know, a hawk's a good friend of mine, you know, because uh, in my profession of being a delver, going down into the deep with pets of Altset's Hill and trying my very best to find all the trinkets the deep put in, I require a holy aid that's already called me up to say, Hey, I need you to help me move. And I'm like, Well, I don't have a wagon. He's like, I have a carriage. And I'm like, Oh, great. Then I'll uh -huh. be so much easier than this. I helped him load up stuff like that. His couch was uh -huh. a bit of an egg going through the sewer. And like a friend does. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, regardless of that, we uh, we load it up, and I I plan to call me and take its carriage and bring him over the elements. But the problem is that, by the time it's killed, been a little bit cooky. If you haven't noticed as of late, so I decided to try and take a shortcut because going on the main road was going to be a bit too dangerous for me. So me and me and Nugget both agreed that a shortcut would have been the best bet. But unfortunately. Some thieves are waiting for us. We tried our best to fend them off, and Nugget got a really good bite on one of their legs. Ah, but unfortunately, we were both knocked out, and they took off with the cart. We tried our best to pursue, but it's only been it's only been a short amount of time, and we were trying to drum up people to come over and try to help me get it back, because I feel it's not too far away. It hasn't been that long since they left taking the cart, but. No one's been around to help us. 
This man's with the tyrants of guild out and about still hunting people down. We gotta go get that cart! We gotta go get it! Yeah, we were sent out to go find you and the cart at the same time, so we can't really? come back with you and not the cart. Yeah, we're Holic's friends too. Can I pet your dog? <laughs> yes, you gotta pet Nugget. Nugget. Well, only if Nugget allows it. I'm not I'm not his owner. I'm just his friend. Beetle tries to pet Nugget. <laughs> Roll me a nature check. I can't believe this is how Beetle finally beefs it, eaten alive by Bass and Helm. A 20! <laughs> You're able to pet Nugget and Nugget likes you. Yes! <laughs> and so Talim will never try to pet Nugget because we all know how that role is gonna go now. <laughs> oh yeah, just goes You're not through the dog. You're not dead. Yes. Most animals also go, no, fuck you. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't Thanks. believe our dog got a dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Barry will like, do. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, Beetle opens his mouth and, like, you know, dog hairbrushes? Uh -huh. he, he, like, put, puts. Nugget in his mouth, but like just shakes his head back and forth to scratch him with with his teeth. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he's just, having ah, a good time. Yeah, oh, the he's arc? Just scratching Nugget with his teeth. <laughs> the previously believe... stated art for uh, Gray having Beetle in a shell harness now <laughs> needs to also feature Beetle having Nugget on a leash. Like, it, I, I, I imagine either one of two things. It's like beetles over there looking like a seagull that is just trying to put anything in its mouth. Or yeah. mouth affection is now a thing of cobalt society. It makes me think of that video where it's like, oh my god, it's like a big pelican and it's trying to eat a capybara. But yeah. it's, it's just opening and closing its beak around the capybara. The camera is just standing there. <laughs> It's either that or it's how like what is it like uh like even like big cats or things like that they're just like I'm gonna put your hand in my mouth because I like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. Seems the to other. be like that. Yeah. <laughs> you lore. The lore. The lore. The chat. lore. See, look, cobalt lore isn't established. We get to build it as we go. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so bear will kind of stand up and if Nug is enjoying his mouth pets and he'll he'll basically be like oh but if you're ready to help me then i think i know a couple of places we can look for here how about this i'll look one place and you guys look another place and whoever finds on first will give a good wallop what wait we'll get a good wallop or we'll give a good wallop yeah whatever one any I, <laughs> <laughs> I like you it's like any hit Anywho, this is what I suspect it'll be. And he'll take out a, uh, a piece of map, and he has like a very crude drawing of, of, of outset and kind of sections of the ponds blaster, and he will kind of point out one of the uh, one of the areas here. And he's like, if you guys search here, and I'll search around here, and once I find I'm going to report back to you, but you have more than me. So how about if you find the folks first, you try to apprehend them, and I'll eventually meet up back with you with elements once either of us have the coat. Uh, what does apprehend mean? Grab them. And kill them. No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you have to. No. <laughs> if you yeah. have to. You but they wronged would... the guy, and I like the guy. Hey. Yeah, but hey, they usually, knocked him out. I'm you going to kill mix. them if you're being paid extra hard. I don't think we're being paid that much. I'm going to make well. necessary. When I find them, I'm going to make sure they expire at my earliest convenience. Off we go. And then he rolls okay. up his map and he will uh, begin marching, marching out, uh, marching out uh, of the tavern. And Oh, uh, before, before you leave, are I, you a fan of air necklaces? A fucking what? 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 <laughs> you know, what? As, as a proof. I'm sorry, I don't speak hip hop. And he keeps going. <laughs> What's hip hop? I, and as I, I, and as Baron and as Baron hops out with the instructions given, um, and as you guys begin to uh, start looking around for the people, uh, Baron will further on 
um, like before he leaves and stuff like that. It'll give you guys a description. It was two individuals. One of them looked like a kind of a bird-like creature, and the other one looked like an elven, an elven lass with some poofy uh, bits of clothing that had stripes on the side. And we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Woo, break time! Zorin is about to die. What do you mean? When he dies, he will die in real life forever. This is funny, but it doesn't have to be. Through your support on Patreon, we can find a way to incrementally slow this train before he is destroyed in complete agony forever. In exchange for your patronage, you'll receive access to the show early. Unique monsters, lore, spells, and items. What a deal. And that's not even counting your early access to stream VODs, behind the scenes content, and more. That's a lot of value. Just listen to this testimonial from a longtime patron. Who is this Zorin guy again? Terrific stuff. Please head over to patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Because if you don't, you know you can, go, yeah. you, know, you so, can go to Yale for that. Yeah. Oh. And uh, you know, if you do that, then ultimately having to kill off Beetle to uh, to cure the rot is not going to be that big of a deal. I think it's a sacrifice. Now. It's a sacrifice yeah. we're all willing to make. Exactly. I have twelve to fourteen to twenty more Beetle sisters. I will just bring Beetle back. I'll just bring <laughs> the exact same character back, and it'll hide just be Beetle behind sister. the pile of bars. <laughs> I hide the pile of dead kobold. <laughs> Pirate Guild carries off Beetle. Beetle's just yelling. It's like there's fifty-seven more of me. <laughs> we we have to we have to watch Storkins Rising together. Yes, it's yes. such a good. It's got such a good tabletop uh, movie. It's so funny. <laughs> it's a classic. <laughs> Community the night. Part. Community I night. I can't yeah. wait for the part where Hart pulls out a chainsaw and then a lightsaber. Uh, <laughs> please, please. <laughs> finally, please. a shotgun. <laughs> All right. So you guys are back. Baron, give you a visual description of the two thieves that have taken out or taken away Hollick's cart. Uh, you guys are back out into the streets of the Pond's Palaster here in the city of Outset. And you guys, you just learn how to kind of track somebody down. Let's see if your investigation skills can bring you a little bit more luck on finding Hollick's carts. So I'm going to start from right to left this time and see, or actually, go, we'll, we'll do it from this order instead. Go ahead and think to yourselves right now, how would you find Hollick's carts? So you see, for Hollick's cart, um, you kind of have an idea of it before, so it's going to be a little bit easier this time. But with the hubbub that's been going on with the Tyrant's Guild and stuff, it's, um, it's going to be a little bit of an issue. So... I... Since it goes from right to left, I have one exact plan. And it's one. Yeah. And I only have one. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Hey, Soren. Mm -hmm. My investigation uh, is going to be the following. Hard is going to be the lookout. Hard is going to be on the rooftop while everyone else is on the ground. And then uh, convene back down onto the streets now and then. Some people might go, how? And my answer to that is the fact that since Hart has 40 feet movement uh, due to being level 3, he has increased his jump height. Uh, oh my God. Uh, this allows him, together with Dancing Leaf, to jump an estimation of about uh, 15 feet total. Uh, so I, I want to scale a building and run around up on the rooftops for the height advantage when trying to spot things ahead just to be like, oh shit, there's a street, and supposedly there were still people out, so maybe avoid that street, or be like, ah oh, shit, there's a cart. So that that that's that's what I wanna do. If I can use athletics or perception, I am fine with either one. I'll say I'll allow you to do the same thing that Talim did, I'm trying to cover ground uh, as yeah. fast as you can, to try to report back to your friends and stuff. So I'll allow you to roll an athletics in that, so feel free to roll it. Nice. I rolled a 21. Excellent. I will note that yeah. down. Beetle. We 
got the nicest rolls. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. Oh goodness how, gracious. How would the investigator find? I, 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 I continue pursuing my leads. I mean, can we go back to the tracks and then follow where they veered off? You sure can. I That's what Beetle's going to suggest. And that's what Beetle's going to do. So I guess that's another perception with a plus one. Hold on. Let me check it off. Investigate. Do, 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 do. Perception. Oh, one mention. Now that we are going from right to left, uh, due to being an investigator, Beetle can also use a... Uh, uh, the ability clue in whenever Talim or Gray are gonna perform their actions to grant his follow a clue benefit to one of their roles. Oh, I thought I could only clue in if somebody else was talking. Like I could clue into whatever clues they've picked up. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. But I think that across time, if Soren is a benevolent DM, uh, <laughs> you could probably argue that it, it, it's a doable thing. Maybe? It's not the ability description, but... Oh no, wait, you share information with the triggering creatures. Oh no, you're right! They gain yeah, a yeah. circumstance bonus to their check equal to your... So yeah, if I'm helping them, they get a plus one. Yeah, you can more or less do an aid an, aid another without having to roll, as long as it is the same lead. Oh yeah, totally. We're we're all looking for the same thing. Could I give them plus ones also, since they're on the ground with me? Let me read up on it real quick. Yeah, sure, no real problem. Real fast, real fat, real 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 little. Yeah, no a little no fast, a little 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 it's once per minute, uh, yeah. once per 10 minutes yeah. as well. So maybe you can only choose one of them. Yeah, only choosing one. Okay. Share information okay. treating creature. They gain a circumstance bonus, so their check equals because you're sickness bonus. Then I'll, yeah, I'll stick have, with my. Yeah, yeah, you're, practically, 18. Yeah, you're practically giving someone else a, um, a plus one. So you roll for yourself. And if somebody yeah. else is doing a thing, you go, hey, I can help with that and give them a plus one. Yeah. So what would you like to roll? Oh, I, I rolled for myself. Oh, I rolled I'm for so, the pursuit so, elite. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. You're sick. You're sick. I rolled an 18. <laughs> That's an 18 okay. on my pursuit elite perception check. Okay. Looking for specifically, I'm looking to follow the same like skid marks and, and tracks that we happened upon earlier. So I'm, I'm trying to follow those specifically. Okay, good. Okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, Salim. <Celine. laughs> What are you doing? As my right. brain is rotting in real time. <laughs> nah, oh you're no! Perfectly fine, buddy. Okay, so with how Talim covered a lot of ground earlier, in combination with uh, with Baron's map and also his background as an experienced smuggler, mm. with the Tyrant's Guild being out and about, and individuals having stolen this car and they are now moving stolen goods and trying to probably be inconspicuous about it i want to use underworld lore to try and figure out what route they may be taking to move yeah, this to wherever yeah. they're going yeah yeah give that a give that give that a roll and beetle yeah. can can help with her uh all right hey <laughs> you can like whisper <laughs> back. I got some shit you need to know. <laughs> so if I was going to steal something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have a plus eight. I rolled 11 for a total of 19. All right. Going to note that down. Great. These are some good rolls today. Gray yeah. is going to trot back towards where the tracks were kind of starting to veer off. And she's going to start sniffing around because she is very familiar with the particular smells of Alex, uh goods. Mm -hmm. If we all remember the tea incident, yeah. we remember. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't believe Gray gets a whiff of that particular blend of tea and goes into a uh, psychedelic PTSD <laughs> fit. <laughs> so that is what she's going to do. She's going to try and keep, uh, keep on track, following the tracks. And if they disappear at any point, she's going to keep using her sniffer to try and stay on, on the path. 
I, I like how Doublet in chat has deemed it the spirit journey. <laughs> <laughs> also, oh my god! Thank you, chat, for all the gifts of subs, by the way. I greatly mm. appreciate you guys keep rolling in, so thank you. That thank does you help taking... a, a crap ton. Thank you for yeah. taking care of and supporting our friends. Yeah. He's, he's very dear to us. He is very dear to us, and everybody on so, the narrative you. decoration team are just good people. Thank you. Yeah. So, Gray, uh, roll me a perception check. You're a big. Yep. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, but survival. You're sniffing still. Survival. I'm a sniff, a sniff, snorf, sniffer. That is a 13 total. Uh, I'd like Definitely. to do a reroll. Yeah, 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 Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You can spend a hero point. A, a whole a whole hero point. Please, God. Please. <laughs> yes. There you go. It, it tipped on that one and I was afraid. <laughs> then I got a total of 25. <sighs> All right. So as uh, before, before I continue, just for, for time's sake, um, I'm going to ask the party so I know when to kind of maybe end things. Are you good to go for maybe an extra thirty if you want to hit a certain yeah. cool thing or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just want to I just want to make sure and get everyone's time and, and, uh, uh, and ask for open, it. I have an open evening to, to play the tabletop with friends. All right, yes, you're good to go for an extra thirty, sick man. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll I'll survive. Sickums. We'll do it for you, sickums. <laughs> <laughs> Just, ha just have the rock goons. You. Oh, no, wait, the rock goons mean. party on the do it for them thing. It's like Tulane and Beetle and Heart and Gray. You said it. Beetle. We we need we need Holic to sing that. <laughs> can what? I do it for you? Oh can I do it for you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is funny. So you guys... He has no nose. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys are investigating with your investigator and the rest of the body crew, with all of your roles, which you all did great in your roles. Nice. Um, Heart, you're just you're just running across rooftops and stuff, looking around and everything else. You're starting to notice signs with it. Maybe you're carrying Beetle on your shoulders to help out with speed. Beetle, you're following the tracks, following the other evidence bits, and you're seeing um and you're seeing evidence as to where this wagon is going. You've been able to discern through all the traffic and horse hooves that have been going around of the tyrant's guild just going back and forth throughout the city. Um, Gray, like your your big sniffers, is is helping out, just kind of keeping on with the trail, and to lean with your knowledge, with your knowledge of the area and stuff. Um, you kind of help direct the entire party exactly where you think you need to be. Oh. Oh. What you arrive into is another part of the city of Outset inside the pond's pilaster, but. She's a bit of a disheveled area, and you will notice as you've been going around the Ponce Blaster, things have been on fire, fire, but begin to slowly but surely start to smolder again. And the air is filled with just like just burnt smoke and stuff. The buildings, there was as the revolutionaries try to do uh, cause harm to the city and try to burn things down. Was it that they weren't as successful in? Uh, the Tyrant's Guild and other various guilds inside the outset, I was able to put down or put out the fires, but smoke is still in the air and it's just going through the air, uh, the city. You now see yourselves kind of like in a in an alleyway that you're kind of sneaking your way through and you make your way out here and the tracks lead up into this area. Guys, the tracks lead up into this area! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> Oh my god, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> Falling behind Beetle because of course he just goes. Yeah. Yes. And then yeah. at, this, at this point, Talim is just like, if Beetle's just going, he's just, it just floats after quickly. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> what, what if they've got guys with crossbows up on roofs again? Oh yeah. I guess we'll have to find oh, out. You, my that's a good god, question. he's learning! <laughs> you can he's stealth evolving. your way forward. That's an excellent thing to remember. You can either stealth your way forward or you can start perceiving, start looking for signs of things. So what would you guys like to do? I would like to enter mountain stance and raise my shield. 
<laughs> Game in the system before it starts. I, I see. I, 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 I uh, Talim would actually like to um, stick to the shadows and stick to the walls and using his transparent and incorporeal nature to um mm. stealth as they move up. Mm. Excellent. Beetle uh, would like to yeah. plaster his back to the wall, like directly on Talim, like he's through Talim, and also stealth. All right, go ahead and roll a stealth check for me. I've got a plus seven to it, and I've rolled a six, and I'm going to spend a hero point. <laughs> All and right, let's see that uh, hero point. Yeah. Um. Hold on, wait. Where's that? How do I? Oh, there we go. If you anything roll, else, just roll it again. Point. There we go. Yeah, what in doubt? That is a 19 on a roll for a total of a 26. Woo! Let's go. Excellent. The lean just starts to, he starts to fade out of existence and he just starts to merge with the fog and shadows. <laughs> I, I rolled yeah, a Beetle. 12. Yeah. Beetle's just standing with his back against the wall. Did you go with that? <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. All right. <laughs> uh... Gray. Can it can it be that the, uh, that the leaves yes. felt so hard like Beetle lost sight of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just so translucent. Like. <laughs> Gray's gonna like kind of take a step back and watch the watch the rear. Oh, no, did, did are you lose, doing a perception uh, check? Are you also trying to stealth? Are you? Uh, I will do a perception. Okay. That is a total of 14. Okay, Hart, what would you like to do? Uh, my internet might be bugging out for a little second. Oh, like, no. no! We can yeah, hear do, you, though. It, it, it's, my, it's, my, it's my thing. You're good, you're good. Still yeah. there? Yeah, you, yeah you're cool. fine. Good. You disappeared for a little bit, but now you're back. Yep, yeah, good. Um, hey, Soren. Yes? I would I would like to walk forward. Oh Are you perceiving as you do so or I would like to perceive. Alright, roll me a perception check. Nice. I would like to have my eyes open. Oh no <laughs> Eyes wide open Eyes on the inside. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh-oh. She's yeah, gone there again. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, no. Pour one out for Salty. I remember She was a real salty. one. I remember Salty as she was. I like how chat was just like, Salty got JPEG. And I, I just hear in my head, I'm like, do I look like I know what a JPEG is? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh dang it. I just want a picture of a hot dog. I watched a painting on my computer. She she stealthed so hard, she just stealthed out of reality. <laughs> I walk forwards. <laughs> Walks she forward, <laughs> peers into another dimension, just steps through. We're now uh, down a monk. Great. <laughs> I will, uh... Oh, yeah, oh, there, there, she there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, oh, oh she's uh, back. Hello? 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 Hello, hello there. I'm Welcome back. to another session of Rodgo! Yeah, yeah, we just started. Good to see you, Salty. Anyway, you guys are back at Elma's now with Croc. <laughs> nice. Wait, wait. Was I everything an illu Was was I hallucinating then? You need to wake up. You need to wake up. Wake up, wake up, it's wake up. It's 2005. It's 2005. VTubers don't exist yet. We've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. You need to no. wake up. No! However, your video has perished yeah, in the process. Yeah, you gotta yeah. resend your ob ninja. Oh no. You opened oh. your eyes so wide, you just blipped out of reality. <laughs> I, got, I got eyes on the inside. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I love Bloodborne. I when love you got Bloodborne. a lot I'll of tech and things go wrong. Here you go, snoring. I'm snoring. As my computer is actively <laughs> melting. Snoring the snare. Oh. I'm snoring. God, I wish I was snoring. Snoring, snoring the schnur and snorting the snub. I'm not snorting the snub. I like how Chad is also just like, Talim capitalizing on the mistake of other party members. I'm a capitalist. What did you expect? <laughs> Do you see me? 
Yeah, my yeah. Yeah. would be there you alive. Go. There you go. Right, nice. Yeah. Just refresh right, your foundry cool. and you should be good. We should be good. Yeah. So I there wish to is. roll perception to, to see what horrors lie before me so that I may go insane. I would like to spend a hero point to reroll mm. that <laughs> active roll since I rolled a 13. I rolled a three on the die for a total of nine. <laughs> Due to me rolling a nine, I yeah. do not witness the cosmic horror, and therefore I do not go insane. <laughs> it was me, I was the cosmic horror the entire time. <laughs> Anywho, what happens now is quite interesting. If I remember right, Talim and Beetle, the only ones who stealth and Gray at heart, are the ones who did perception checks. Gray, uh, from your position, you do not see anything. You're, you're too far back into the corner to see anything right now. Um, uh, Hart, from your position, uh, you're not seeing anything super obvious as you are walking up, but I will allow everyone to, to walk up uh, one action's worth of movement. Ooh! Oh. Nice. Talim, look to the left when you go up that wall, and then I'll go up this wall, and I'll look to the right, and then we'll be looking both ways at the same time. It's funny because Talim had already moved up, and and immediately as soon as you go <laughs> all the way, Hart, because you got way too greedy. Oh no! Because <laughs> <laughs> you got way too greedy. Uh -oh. Oh, awfully there, greedy. Talking to nobody, he thinks he's still talking to Talim. He can't see him. <laughs> We're gonna move you back. It's hard to decide to rush in there for some reason. No, I glide. I glide along the ground. Yeah, don't lie to me. Anyway. He just A-poses and scoots along the ground. You will see two individuals. Ew, what is top, that? On top of a statue. Ew, and you, what is and you, that? And, and Hart, I will be a most gracious game master and stop you here so you don't get nice. Thank plan you. blasted. Let's, let's do that. I can't so, believe Hart took a bolt to the chest. Oh no, so wait, as... that was Beetle. No, it wasn't me, it wasn't me this time. It wasn't not me this time, touch his nose. As you guys as you guys are there, you you'll see this like bird like creature. Ooh, this I don't like it. Humanoid -like creature come over. I don't like it. And it'll look at all of you and go like <laughs> I'm like, maybe there's no one to come over to collect. And you'll see that it is a, a kind of Tingu-like individual. It's a it's a avian humanoid with claw hands and a long beak with uh, vicious oh, slitted know. eyes. I kind of I adorn like with kind of like a feather with a kind of like a feather fur sort of combo uh, plume neck piece who's wearing uh, just kind of some simple clothing. Um, you'll see a elf lady beside, beside him. And you'll see that um, she's wearing a very, very kind of like Renaissance period sort of style clothing, big poofy, uh, sleeves with stripes coming down a sort of leather jerk and come, uh, like kind of leather piece of armor on her chest. And she seems to have like kind of slicked back, compressed hair that's kind of slicks back to the back of her head. And she will look at all of you and go, who the hell are you? I'm hard. <laughs> Wait a second. A bird person, a flamboyantly dressed elf. <gasps> are these the people on the wanted poster? It's like, do you say that yes. out loud? No. <laughs> <laughs> Gray just kind of looks at Hart and just kind of like puts her, 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 her hand over her face. She's just quiet. It is, okay, I actually have a legitimate question, uh, Zoran. Is yes. with like um, Hart uh, and uh, Gray be noticed, is my stealth still effective or have I been noticed as well? Because it's like, oh, did you. <laughs> You, okay. for you, uh, I'll say with your ghostly abilities, you're able to stay in stealth right now. 
Uh, they seem okay. to have not have known. You seem to be very ghostly to them. You're kind of mixing in with the uh, with the smoke and the fog quite well, actually. Yes. Uh, as for Beetle, they see you immediately. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is. It, you are not stealthy in any way. Shape, your or form. worth it. <laughs> your 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 pitter patters are very loud. Um, but what will happen is at heart as you're coming up and saying like I'm heart, um, you'll you'll see that the uh, the avian creature will bring up one clawed finger and go okay, I wouldn't go near that if I were you. <laughs> and it'll point over to the kind of, to kind of cracks and stuff or so. And, Why um, not? It's like <laughs> you are. Uh, you wouldn't like how it feels when you get near the mode. What's that? <laughs> would you like to make a nature check too? Yes, I would love to make a nature check. Hart is not an educated man. Uh, let me see here. I rolled a 12 for a total of 13. You have no idea what this is. You see this kind of like moss-like substance on the rock. You kind of notice it around you all, kind of like on the ground here. But for the most part, you you, you don't understand what it is. And I take a, a little bit of a peek seek. I can do a little squint at it. You sure can. Heck yeah. Well, I have to roll for that. Uh, nature. Nature? Yeah. For a to nat 20! Oh, oh. For a total you, of 24! You've seen this before! Come on! No! Yeah, you know exactly what this is. This is, uh, even though it looks greenish in appearance, you see that within the green, there's bits of it that is brown and looks a little bit just more, um, more reactive to what movements are right now. You see, this is brown mold. And what this stuff is, is. It's kind of like an environmental hazard. What this stuff will do is if you get near, it will suck the warmth out of your body. Oh. If it gets near you and, it'll, and it kind of like consumes it out of you. Like it kind of like latches onto you and just it just leaves you super cold. Like it is, it's not fun to be near. Like some, you know, people have died due to this stuff and it's very stealthy. Hard, don't touch that. Don't even let it get here. It will absolutely and, put you down. And with your nature check, you could tell it's all along this crack here. To get past it would uh would be would, would be a bit of a challenge. But you can you can do it, but it'd be some effort. Like unharmed. Can I have Beetle jump off the wall and roll like he's coming out of stealth? Even though he, he was never stealth to begin with. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, he just huh, and it, it, he rolls over and he splays up on his feet and he looks at the both and he points his fingers. He's like, "Wait, are you guys stuck over there? Do you need some help?" No, yeah. we're we're quite safe where we are. It's like you're surrounded by the stuff. We're not surrounded by it. What is that? <laughs> She'll point at it. No, that's Beetle. It's like, it, no, isn't, isn't there a bunch of stuff on the ground there too? Is there stuff? You know, there's a lot of marauders around this area. Maybe you don't want to be here. While they are conversing back and forth, can Talim skirt around um, like these areas and uh, moving uh, half speed to try and circle around them as he like, oh. you know, glides over the ground. Ah, uh, maintain the stealth. Yeah. 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 Uh, because because of your current stealth roll and, and kind of what they've they've hit, they've rolled hidden wise, uh, go ahead. You can go ahead and move around just fine. OK, so I can move full speed or would you, or you can, you can um, go full speed. It's fine. OK. And like, uh, well, you know what? We'll 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 find out. <laughs> we'll find out as to whether or not mold is that works on ghosts. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's a little cold on my toes. I would assume, assume that it wouldn't. Um, you you what, at um, least have a plus one uh, resistance to it. Yeah. 
Like worst case scenario. Yeah. <laughs> worst case scenario. I'm allowing you to use, use three action three actions. Oh wait, now, no, you so. have three actions. Yeah, never mind. Uh sorry, that was that was my bad. It's okay. I was I was like, wait, I thought you, for uh, a moment I had, <laughs> had four actions. You would be right here. There you go. Yeah. Um as you go over, you notice for you, uh, because you you technically fly wherever you go. Um and just slowly floating, you float over it just fine. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> you uh you notice that um that the two will kind of look at uh look at the ones that they can see and they will go and go go oh, well marauders are here but obviously you're not the pickup team as i, I don't know what that is as you're looking carefully like, calf we've been compromised we need to get out of here we don't even know we don't even know who these people are and they obviously wait, wait, wait. don't want to leave let's go wait Wait, come back! <laughs> like, Gray has to, like, reach over and, like, grab Beetle so he doesn't accidentally over yeah. the mold. She's just like, no! <laughs> like, no, 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 no! <laughs> this is why we have the child leash. <laughs> As I, uh, you'll look, um, just see that the alpha look at you, Beetle, and go like, well, what, are, then why are you here? Leave, like, leave us, leave us alone, or tell us what you're here for. We're retrieving uh, something that a friend got taken. Yeah. Oh. You're with that dwarf, aren't you? And his little dog too. Oh uh, well, we're more with the dog, but <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of all with the dog, like even the dwarf. <laughs> she'll nod she'll, she'll nod and go okay calf we have some uninvited guests and you see that he'll start bringing his little clawed hands together going <laughs> and we're going to start with some initiative and you guys have already rolled oh. your initiative oh no oh we did oh no oh no we did <laughs> Oh no! All right. So the top of the order is Talim. You are still stealthed. <laughs> so I'm going to actually use my three actions to circle around. And I will actually, you know what? I'm going to end right here. Still in stealth and hiding in the shadows of the building and the smoke. And that will be the end of my turn and all three of my actions. Okay, Gray. All right. All right. So, your knowledge, by the way, of this brown mold, you know exactly where it is. Um, okay. So, you know how to safely navigate past it. And if okay. you want, and, and because of that knowledge, you can tell others how to safely go, go through it. I'm not going to make like a whole bunch of square notches and stuff like that. I'm just going to say you can just navigate through the space a little bit easier. Okay. okay. You can, but someone else, you're, you're going to have to help them on a nature check that teach them how to go through it. So great. Very quickly plops, plops beetle down behind her so she can actually just grab her cross, her crossbow. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to like okay if we're gonna fight i guess we're gonna fight uh i'm going to declare uh half my targets my hunted prey and okay. for reason, I, there we go i was like why isn't it working why is it the clicking working uh and i'm gonna I'm gonna go for it we go for it we're gonna roll Bam! Oh, oh, <laughs> Yo! Oh my Starting god! Off strong. <laughs> I guess we're gonna fight! Kills her bird! What the <laughs> fuck? With <laughs> max damage! With max freaking damage! <laughs> Oof! Oh. Gray as the MV fucking P! Oh my oh god! Oh my fucking lord! <laughs> That's a lot of damage! <laughs> That's great. 
That's awesome. Oh my oh, god. She just, like, she just, she just, like, oh, she just, like, just doesn't even break eye contact. She just. Did you just like Wild West like gunfighter that? Oh, like you just whipped so out the bad. And just, like, Oh my Bye. god. <laughs> Bye? <laughs> you go suking this. <laughs> like you see this thing grasp onto the bolt and it just had a horrifying like bird like screech. I'll reload. <laughs> <laughs> Trax, Trax, Tross. <laughs> Whips out crossbow, fires a, like, a center mass, like, heart shot, casually reloads. Doesn't look at the explosion. Just a <laughs> great eye contact, contact the entire, entire time. Yeah. What yes. happens, what happens, though, is a, a lot begins to happen right when it gets to their turn. And you begin to hear more bells. Uh -oh. More bells uh -oh. begin to ring out. You guys can hear it, but Chad can hear the bells, but more bells begin to ring out. There he goes. And the what you'll see behind you. Now, forgive me. This is going to be a little bit awkward because of how these tokens are. So please forgive me. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, kind of. Oh, kind of work. No, there's this one. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see this as they awkwardly <laughs> rotate it. I, I just saw this horse out <laughs> there come here and I started laughing. Rodate so, horse. Rodate. So, so what's a real, really funny part about this is uh, so mounted combat. Uh, in Pathfinder 2nd Edition is very interesting because what you see begin to run up to you are two skeleton oh, no. type creatures, I'll pay it for Chad here, begin to show up to the south. And in addition to that, uh, you also find that they show up over onto the side. Let's see. <laughs> to do this in a certain way please forgive me horses are large size so Rotate. they're, they're Rotate. very they're very awkward to 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 make <laughs> exist so please forgive me Speed. so maximum velocity so four <laughs> riders four riders show up on very alive horses normally you would see these guys on undead horses but for those oh. you who would know who exists in the six in the or exists long in the city of outset um they ride their horses to death because there is a bond that has to form over time for some riders oh no and that's why the skeletal horses sometimes exist. Uh, but these are very fresh looking horses who, as you guys can tell from a glance, have not really bonded with any rider yet. But some of them show up and you see, it, as you know, the Tyrant's Guild has been out and about wrangling people up. And as soon as Cav getting hit, Cav getting hit by a crossbow bolt, seeing the riders appear goes, oh, hell no. <laughs> and <the> book <laughs> books it. Pops in and tells her and tells his companion, saying, "We gotta go!" and immediately runs all the way over and hops onto this car. I didn't put horses on the on the carriage. It's all at the top right here that you could see, which you could tell is it's Hollick's carriage. Um, I didn't do that just to kind of save out with lag, because a bunch of animated stuff tends to lag foundry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he he gets ready like, "We gotta go now." Use all of his actions to get up there and onto the thing. Beetle, it's your turn. Hope you like the souvenir I gave you. No, don't let them run away. Beetle's <laughs> gonna run back up. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Careful, careful. Bold. He'll stop and he'll take out his crossbow uh, and he'll load his crossbow. I think, oh God, shit. Is that all three of my actions? Cause I moved. I had to take out my crossbow. I had to load it. Shit. Yep. That's it. I I can only do that. Got That's prep it. it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she was stealthing. Smile. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, say all your actions. Get away, don't let me away. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, chat. I forgot the encounter tracker. I'm a <laughs> terrible human being. Um, 
I'm a bad host. I'm a bad host. All right. So at the end of your turn, and now be Celelia's turn. She will take the note and go, go like, ha, and, and quickly rush off and join in onto the cart and go, yeah, and the cart and everything else will drive off. But as they immediately go, yeah, and begin to rush off with the carriage and everything else. You guys have four skeletal folks on uh -huh. top of horses. Let me do Damn this. Damn it, I real don't quick. have enough hero points. Oh. Oh. For our narrative declaration? Yeah. Do you want you, one? You've got one! I thought we couldn't share hero points. I thought we needed no, to do no, a narrative okay. declaration. Oh, do we need two? Wait, okay. How many no, 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 it's 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 uh it's one it's one hero point for narrative declaration. We we change oh. it from the two thing because Thurston didn't want to oh. get super game of five. Like, no, nah, it's one. Let him use it. Okay. <laughs> let him ha let him have fun. Damn it. So. But all right. I, I, Sorry, that sounds like because I want I, yeah I wanted to I wanted to do something. But I was like, oh, I don't have enough. Before they go and you know like get the horses to run, and I narratively declare that because of the undead that are about. And the bells going off as the horses are spooked and not responding. That's a very. That's, that's oh a no! Two, now my internet's going. That's, oh that's, no! It's a two two bit of a gameplay thing. Okay. Uh, but I I allow you to spend it for. I like they're not gonna they're not gonna stop. I'll, I'll tell you that much. The, the, the horses, even if they're spooked, the horses, if, if they're spooked, are running. They, they're, I've never okay. seen a horse get spooked and stop. Um, but if you want it to where a little bit wild, abandoned, and hard to control for them, I'll allow that. That you, If you wanted to forego mm. your stealth, I'll allow you to go, oh, blah, 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 <laughs> and then like make it to where they're a bit unwieldy to, to go. I'll allow that type of narrative declaration. I thought you were going to try and jump on the wagon. Well, I was going to, but I don't have any action. Because uh -huh. yeah. otherwise, I, I was going to be like, oh, can, can I fuck, can I jump on the wagon? No. Yeah. <laughs> then we lost to lean. I mean, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm like, sure. Yeah. He's yeah, already that, dead. That, it's you know, fine. That, that'll, that, that'll work. Um, to, you know, like, uh, fucking uh, pop out of stealth and, and, and spook the horses. As a, as a spooky ghost does. Cool. Awesome. Uh, as you as you do that, you'll definitely tell that it makes it a lot harder for them to control those horses. So as they're still getting away, you feel that the speed in which they're doing so is going to be a lot less. Nice. So I've marked you down a hero point for that, and it is Hart's turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, there are people riding in here. Um, <gasps> and they have fast, horses. How fast are they approaching? Uh, they've all kind of arrived and stopped right now. They're not charging right now. Hi. <laughs> what you see, um, what you see before you are uh, helmeted, armored, skeletal soldiers in a way, yep. wearing the Tyrant's Guild symbol, kind of like on their surcoats, and they all seem to be holding glaives. They're just dead dudes. Just push them off the horse. They'll fall over like a <laughs> piece of grass, and then just take the horse and chase after the cart. <laughs> Just GTA 5 steal their horse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just shove them off. Yeah, just block them and shove them off. <laughs> I can't. No. No. It can't be that fucking easy. Uh, 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 but yes. So, uh, Soren. Yes. I'm snoring. Uh, uh, heart sees the 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 tyrant skill symbol, right? Yes. Hmm. Uh, heart is gonna walk up uh, to this duder right in the. So he, I'm gonna spend oh, one action to floating. move up here. Nope. Oh, yeah, you no. Leave no, come back. You're blocking the screen. Blocking the screen. Okay, okay. Ooh, <laughs> down in front. I, 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 I press the button. Press the, the button. button. I, I was I was searching things. I was I was searching how to, how to run after stuff. <laughs> so, so, one action to move up to the guy on the horse. 
Uh huh. Uh, and heart points at him and goes, I need to confiscate that. You are one <laughs> space away, because that is a large creature. So you are that away. Cool. Uh, so I wanna I wanna I wanna smack the dude. Alright, oh uh, you can God. you can punch him. Yeah. If 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 anyone asks, why would Hart do this? Why would Hart attack this person straight out of anything? This is a lawman, and his dad taught him one thing. You make your own rules. <laughs> I'm gonna target Fuck the thing. The police thingy. coming straight from the underground. <laughs> and I'm gonna and I'm gonna try to smack him. <laughs> I use the ability flurry of blows that allows me to perform two unarm strikes <laughs> and combine them for the purpose of overcoming weaknesses and resistances. <laughs> My first attack roll is a 22. Excellent, good hit. Nice. Oh my god. I rolled a one for a total of five on that damage. Well, my bam. next attack roll. Go ahead. Yeah. It's a four on the die, which is a miss. So I will spend a hero point to hero reroll point. for a better result. I rolled a 15 for a total of 19, which is also a hit. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. God. That I rolled a seven for a total of eleven. That I want to thematically yes, nice. Uh, oh so, my god! So I, 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 he defeats this guy, right? Yep. You basically just, you basically just, yeah, you defeat him. It's your your kill. Go for it. Okay. Uh, heart goes. I need to confiscate that. And since this is an undead being, <laughs> heart, heart just shoves his hand into his abdominal, grabs onto the spine, and throws him down from the horse. You hear a Wilhelm scream as he gets tossed out. And then he pull, and then he holds up his shield, raised towards the other uh, skeletal knight, and meets eyes with him like, you want to try? No. So I'm going to raise my shield, which gives me a slightly higher AC. <laughs> All right, oh, that is the end of your turn. Salim. Yes. So your effects, yeah, your your actions did really help out with the carriage. You will see it later on, but for now, okay. You hear yeah, I, I was I was I was gonna say like, is it is it less than a hundred feet away? <laughs> <laughs> um, because if it was, I'd be like. I run and I grab on the bank. <laughs> literally just runs and throws himself on the back of it. But if that's the case, if it's if it's literally like we're gonna see it later, then um, Ephilim will uh, use his full actions to uh, to move up with the or to move up and meet with the um, I guess the 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 the, the, the rest of the party and uh, in my. Uh, my turn right here. I got all you right, a horse. I'll use all three of my actions to move. So. Awesome. One of the skeletal folks will, you'll hear them go like kind of stab its feet into the horse, commanding it to move. And you hear the horse go, and you know, obviously the horse <laughs> not liking it. <laughs> and we'll move up. Move all the way up to here. Seeing Heart just destroy one of its brethren, and it will aim at you, Heart, with its glaive and mm. try to strike you, whoosh, but misses terribly. Ooh. Your shield, pink, blocking it. Yes, because yes, Shat, you can use a shield as a monk. Every character in the entire game can use raise a shield as an action. The skeletal soldier will see you, Talim. Yes. And try to strike at you with its glaive. Also trying to command the horse. Comes up at you. Does hit. With a 24. Rolls low on its damage. Only for three points of damage to you. Just. Right. Dead right does not recognize you. dead. It does. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't. No. It doesn't. Gray. Dead on dead crime. 
Okay, you are locked and loaded. Gray is locked and loaded, and I'm going to target the skeleton that just uh, hit Gleam. And this is my targeted prey. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it once again, baby. We're gonna hit with that crossbow. Oh yeah, baby. And of course, I rolled for, oh my God, I missed with a 12. Oh, oh no, do I have a hero point? Unfortunately, you do you have two. Have two. Remember, to, remember to target the right person as well. Did I hurt my targeting the wrong thing? No, you're good, you're good. Okay. I was gonna say, I know. I thought I was targeting the right thing. Uh, according to this, you are targeting calf. Oh, what? you are still. Yeah, you're still targeting calf. Why, but I clicked on him. No, I'm, I'm targeting Oh, uh, what's calf. happening is that his token's still technically there. Let me, uh, let me do this. Mm. Now, now you should be good. Okay. Yeah, just roll. I, I'm uh, late. I do have the uh, the little crosshairs on the on the Skelly man. Yeah, mm. you you also had him target at the same time, and he was hit. That's weird. Okay, so you're you good. Can, you can target multiple creatures. Right, let's you're roll. Oh, I got oh, oh, oh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> rolling hot tonight. <laughs> There's twenties after twenties. Uh, for a total of uh, 18, and for, sh for speed sh sakes, uh, for speed sake, you didn't kill him. On this one, because he, you notice that the uh, that the precision damage isn't as effective as you thought it was going to be. No, I still shot right through Talim. <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah, the air, the ball <sighs> just zoom, it causes a lot of damage though. I assume you reload and get ready. Yep. Why, why, why must we do this every time? Man? Why must we revisit Talim's PTSD? All right. <laughs> See, one of the skeletons will look at you, Gray. I'm trying to get you with a glaive. I'm trying to command the horse. Comes up to you, does hit just barely with a 19 and hits you for nine oh. points of damage. Oh, ouchie. You see, it's cold and unnerving. There's no other thought. Just slash at you and, and make you submit. Beetle. Ah. Let's say. I'm really let's, sorry, guys. Yeah. So I floated my crossbow. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the very Canadian, sorry, uh, he's gonna <laughs> fire it into this guy. I'm trying it. There we go. Oh no! Wait! I wanna. Uh, no. You know what? I'll just do it. Raku, party even ass is. Let me stop licking the crossbow. <laughs> there we go. Nice. <laughs> What you, what you trying to do, Beetle? Let me help you out. I'm trying to fire a crossbow bolt into Click on your action, oh, I'm action on the, section. I'm, on the, I'm in my fucking inventory, not my actions. I'm so oh sorry. Oh my god. I'm so sick. I'm also sick. I'm also sick. I'm really sorry. I'm like, I'm clicking it. I'm like, why isn't it giving me the strike? I can't believe well. the wrath that Beetle is a source of is finally taking its toll. I'm talking. Oh, Did missed. you discombobulate it? No, I didn't. Okay, so it's a straight up roll. Are you happy with that roll? You have two hero points. I'll use my hero point. I don't want to miss. <laughs> okay, use your hero point. You got one left. Go ahead and reroll. <laughs> please, please put it in his dome. It no! is worse. Oh, it's worse. So you can reload and fire again yep, if you'd like. Yeah, yeah, reload. But at MAP minus again. five. MAP minus five, yeah. All right, well, good turn, Beetle. <laughs> All right, hard good turn, turn, buddy. You bought all those bolts. <laughs> good thing you I got all these bolts, yeah. Good thing you got enough to give to somebody else. Uh -huh. Hey, Talim. Yes. Do you need this horse? A horse is still faster than me going on my own. I'll get you this horse. Uh, Hart will uh, fleur flows the guy uh, right in front of him. Excellent. Uh, Let's see it. Yes. Boom. Good hit. I yes. I rolled up 15 for a total of 24. Uh, and I rolled a six for a total of 10 damage. Bam. You, you annihilate him and he just crumples down and falls off the horse. He grabs him by one foot and slams him into the, into the ground. There we go. And then it turns around. Since Flurry of Blows is not required to be towards one creature, it, uh, I still get to just do 
two attacks for one action because monks cheat. Oh my god. Like it. I attacked the one behind me. That's a 12. Okay, I will use miss. my I will use my final hero point. <laughs> right, let's see if it works out. It sure do. That's a total of 23 on the attack roll. Oh, Excellent. Ooh, let's go. Slam him for eight damage as I crunch into this other rider. All right, crunchers, dude. Crunchers, dude. Crunchers, Having dude. a bad time. The helmet is crumpled in. Talim, it's your turn. I will uh, use an action to target that. Uh, oh, wait. I've got so many things open. Um, to target that rider that Art just hit. And using uh, his aft coil, Talim will lash out with a spell strike using Produce Flame. And uh, basically for that, that is an ability that Magus, ha Magus has where I can combine a spell and an attack into a singular attack roll. If I've got him targeted. I'm going to roll for my attack. Uh, let's see it. And I rolled a... 17 ah, plus ah. plus eight for a total of 25. Woo. Nice. And that does four points of uh, slashing damage. And let me go over to the. You magic. notice it takes no damage. It takes no damage. Right. To the slashing. And uh, then yeah. I will roll for my fire damage. And that is going to be 11 points of fire damage in total. You see also with the fire itself, like its body is crumpled and stuff, but it slowly turns to you. It's bone charring and turning black. And it just looks at you and it points. <gasps> it points to you to lean. <gasps> and it uh, raises up its glaive. I will use my final turn. action to raise my shield. And as you do so, Double its shield. glaive comes down upon you, swing, misses once, but it comes back with another trying to catch you off, but your shield's able to keep taking the damage. It takes one last swing, hopefully it's going to get something into you. Even though it roll the 19 on that last roll, wham, bam, just slashing into your shield. He is nothing to you, Talim. He is an amateur. He reminds you of your younger days. Gray. It is your turn. Gray just got hit by uh, by by this lad over here. She's not happy about this. Uh, so now she is the tar that she is declaring this the new targeted prey. Uh, this lad over here, who I have targeted, I'm making sure it's on the right one this time. We don't have any hidden tokens. <laughs> and uh, oh, you're good, she's you're good. yeah. It's gonna reload. Uh, she already reloaded. Sorry. Uh, and we're gonna hit with that crossbow. Please, 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 please. That's a hit. That's a hit. for 17. Ooh. And seven damage. You notice the piercing damage does not do uh -oh. as much as you thought it would. I assume you uh -oh. reload. I'm gonna back up. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna back up 10 feet. Now I'm done. All right. The other one will look at you. Can't quite get to you, but it can get the beetle. No! <laughs> please, please, see. he has posed no threat. He's posed no threat. Kill the cobalt, kill the rock. No! It swings a glaive at you, hits you just kill by cobalt, one, dealing <gasps> five points of damage. Oh. <sighs> But I had to uh, spend some time to command its horse, Beetle. It's your time. It's my time. I get, and Beetle gets, she gets cut. He's like, ah, my bow tie. And then he, <laughs> everything slows down. And he's like, oh, break his forward jib, fuck his, I devise a stratagem. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as I'm turning in slow motion and changing my target, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna devise a stratagem. I'm gonna see what happens if I if I shoot this crossbow, please. Please. You please, dear God. Hit. <gasps> it'll hit! It'll hit! I do it! I fire! Damage. Nine points of damage. 
Hey, that's still that's still pretty good damage for, for the crossbow stuff. Unfortunately, it's able to resist a good chunk of that damage. What the frick? Only to taking four. He's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating. He did fire. Okay. Yeah, two actions left. Okay, I reload my crossbow and I fire the i I fucking I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll fire I'll, I'll fire do it again. Again. I'll, I'll fucking do it again. This is no my device. stick gun. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, no device stratagem. A critical miss! <laughs> critical miss! Yeah, it's not a natural one for podcast listeners that say you roll a seven, which is ten over. I did, I, I rolled a seven, I rolled a seven, I rolled a seven. Yeah. Hart, it's your go. Hi. <laughs> So, uh, from the wall of shields, uh, Hart will send out a flying fist, uh, towards this duder that is pointing towards his friend, trying to snag him by the wrist and just, you know, slam him against the ground like a freaking hammer. Uh, I want to flurry blow him. Let's do it. Let's flurry blow him. Good a total of 15 for a total of 24, and yes. my damage is... I rolled a 3 for 7. Bam, you crumble the skeleton into nice. the I don't want time. To, yeah. And I don't want to hit the other... Someone else with my other attack. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Thank you. Thank you, Soren, for going... No, you need to attack someone else. <laughs> you uh, have to do two strikes. Uh, and then Hart will look towards Talim and go... Are you good with animals? And then he leaves the horses. <laughs> uh, and I try to scoot over here, but this is actually technically in the terrain of it a larger allow animal. allow you to pass through the horse. Oh, damn. You do? I do. Thank you, Soren. Thank you, benevolent GM. Uh, and you I wish to it. perform. Oh. I, mm, my, I still have my three villain points. Mm -hmm. My last action is to strike this dude for minus five multiple attack penalty. Let's see it. I rolled a 12 for a total of 16. And it's I missed. It's unfortunate. Talim! I uh, will use my actions to... Can, uh, can I pass through the space of this horse or do I? Uh, yeah, you, you can go down to like here right. if you want. Yeah, that, that, that's where I was headed. So, uh, I'll use an action to, to move there. I will use an action to raise my shield. In fact, flanking... uh, to help you out, if you go down to here, you can flank. Yeah, you flank. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That works. Here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I will do that. I will use another action to keep my shield raised, and then I will use my final action to target this skeleton horseman, and I will attack him with my ass coil. Yeah, with your let's what? See it. Ass you cut coil. out for me, so it sounds like you just said ass. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yes, I am uh, reenacting the move set of Hugo from uh, from a uh, uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, from, from Street Fighter. Um, <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Bam! Oh, oh, my oh. God. Critical nice. hit! Yeah! Nice. See that damage. So, wait. Oh, nope. I had to roll critical damage. Sorry. I didn't. I rolled the wrong one. Hey, you rolled max so, damage yeah. on your die. Oh! Well, nice! Yeah, so Bam! You... you annihilate this thing and you guys have four free horses there with you yeah. what would you guys like to do hey beetle Bloody. you're good with animals i sure am we gotta get all these heckin horses and chase after the cart all right everyone pick a horse Hard picks the strongest horse <laughs> <What>? <laughs> how do you know what one's the strongest it's the one that he can ride on. It's the one with abs. So <laughs> Liam will hop onto the horse that's right in front of him and go to grab the reins and realize that he can't. <laughs> you will have to mage hand ride this. You will have to, you will have to ghost ride this horse. Yes, become the ghost rider. Ghost rider. Let's go. In Sky. And 
with that, I assume everyone's hopping on top of a horse. Celine, you're able to hop on it. The reins are a bit difficult, but you can kind of... You're, it's like you're riding bareback, but not. I understand these horses here don't look like they have saddles. They should. It's just tokens and stuff. Um, <laughs> that assume you guys hop on. Rider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, so you guys hop on, and you begin the chase. Yes. Holy shit! There's a boo. I just been in this bed before. Hey, I'm not I know it's my bed. Get on the car, man. No. Yes, you All right. <laughs> All right. You guys are barreling. You guys barrel forward. You know the cart. Thanks to Talim's narrative declaration, you guys are able to surge forward with your horses that you have acquired from the Tyrant Skilled Goons. And you are chasing down the two thieves who are in front of you. Forgive me. It's a, it's a complicated map here. Uh, because of the dynamic camera stuff, it's going to get a little bit weird here. Now... Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. This is how we're going to do this. So this is also to teach people. And sorry if we're going to go a little long this episode, but this is the set oh. piece I wanted people to get to. This <laughs> so, is so cool. Dick. All right. So this is how this is how we're going to work. In Pathfinder 2nd Edition, there are baked in rules called chasing rules. Um, this is how you can do a chase scene if you ever need Without to having to do all down. of the fucking stupid shit. Yeah, it's like instead of all a bunch of complicated <laughs> stuff, this is there. There are ways to kind of take into this stuff. It kind of goes the same uh, design philosophy of like victory point system, the game master guide, and stuff. Uh, there's even card packs you can get. Um, so for this, this is this is how we're gonna do it. None of you are really trained in the way of 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 horse of horses, no. really. No. Um, so basically when you're riding a horse, this is not even your animal companion. So this complicates things a bit. So for you to get your horse to kind of do its full effect, you can either spend one action to try to do a nature check to basically convince the horse to follow what you're doing. Um, but I'm gonna be merciful here to where you can then spend two actions to make the horse go up the 30 feet, but that's as far as you can go. Uh, if you want to okay. push the horse even further than that, you can then spend that one final action to try to get that extra bit of 30. Uh, or you can try to risk it all by just doing uh, like like check after check after check. But if the horse keeps getting pissed off at you, it might throw you off. Oh, no. So you're going to have to be very careful, but you're also chasing the thieves down this road. So... <laughs> There's going to be a lot of complications here, but this is where you're heading off to, and obstacles might come your way. Oh, no. So uh -oh. <laughs> here's how this is how we're going to do it. We're going to re-roll you guys in initiative because you're going against them. So let me um, get you guys to re-roll initiative for me. Now, I want you guys to roll initiative... Um, Basically, something you feel most comfortable with. You can use nature if you're trying your very best to control the horses. You can use perception by default if you'd like for your initiative, or you can uh, try to convince me of something else. I'm going to use normal perception. Mm, I I don't oh, remember. Oh, that's a natural it's... one. Oh my god! That's one for gray. <gasps> I had, it, it had to. It had to happen. Because I had two nat 20s. I'm gonna have to look up a complication for you. Everyone else, uh, decide what type of uh, initiative you want to try again and send me a pitch, and I'll, I'll go bring up Google Sheets. So I have an idea. Yeah. I like can ideas. I, can I use the crafting initiative? Because I'd like to use uh, one of my turns to use my... I have a skill that I picked up here. Hold on. Uh, it is improvised tool. And it lets me just craft oh, a variety of very basic items from, like, barely anything. Oh I have on me. So I have on me um, some, a bunch of rations some rope and my crowbar and i would like to see if i can tie the rations up and 
and dangle them like the carrot on a stick in front of, from my crowbar in front of a horse and see if the horse is receptive. <laughs> Holy heck. <laughs> I... Touch his fingers. Can I roll with crafty? <laughs> know what? Sure, go for it. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Diddly, 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 diddly. That's a 28. Holy shit. I'll allow I... it. <laughs> yeah! Let's I... go. I can't believe that Beetle's next archetype is Cavalier. <laughs> All my fucking I'm years of to... playing Minecraft have led to this. <laughs> I, I have a, I have a question. I have a question for Gray. Mm. For your complication. Mm. You uh, so in your character stuff. Forgive me. I can't. I can't pull it up right now. Uh, Gray. Gray had children, correct? She did. Are those children alive? Uh, as far as she is aware, yes. They are alive and they are off doing their own thing and starting like their own prides and all that stuff. Will you allow me to, to uh, will you allow me to grim dark it? Oh no, yeah, okay. Because okay. I, I wanna ask first and you can tell me if it's not okay with you after. I wanna, I wanna ask permission before I do a thing because this can go with the complication. No, no, no. Real no, it goes to It's all good. God, it's gonna be like so, your kid got hit by a horse or eaten by a horse or something. So as you as you're as you're riding in, Gray, for your complication, this comes from our Patreon user or our Patreon donator, uh, Death itself. You can you too can submit a complication. What happens with natural one? But remember, if we roll natural ones, we cannot hero point it. That's our that's our kind of like fairness factor there. They cannot. They're not allowed to roll uh, reroll natural ones. So death itself for the Patreon member, thank you very much for this. And their Patreon uh, complication is called Visions of Death. Mm -hmm. um, as you're going through, as you're going through, Gray, you notice that like everything just kind of like, everything kind of stops for a bit. Everything kind of stops for a bit and you see off to the side and you see that there is a man with a very long rifle. As there, oh. there are guns in the world of tying, not very super sophisticated. But you see, he's just whistling. Whistling because his foot is on top of someone that looks like one of your babies. And he goes. <laughs> and he looks over to you and he takes his hat. He sees the wine brim hat and he nods to you. And he picks up the body and you see it's one of your kids and whistles away as he disappears in an alleyway he he, is and whistles away you can't hear it because this girl's not picking it up but for for them mm -hmm. it leaves off and but then all of a sudden just whoosh, everything comes right back and you see yourself back in the action she she is pretty unresponsive for a few seconds. See, that took her out. Like she she looks like she's just disassociated and ha her eyes are blank. <gasps> so with that, uh, I do apologize. So we got Beatles initial role. Uh, Talim, feel free to this so, perception or something else. I, I have two proposals. So when ghosts interact with things, um, when they, uh, like later on, uh, I will be able to pick up a feat called Ghost and Grass while I'll be able to interact with things but I have to roll an athletics check. Uh, so I have the proposal for Talim to either be using athletics to try and uh, handle uh, the, the reins in what ways he can. Okay. Or because he's using mage hand and, uh, you know, cantrips and other things like that to um, basically like magic reins around and control the horse. To I'll allow a, I'll allow a can of for, for your mage hand stuff to try to, because oh. you're a ghost, you're trying to figure it yeah. out. Yeah, I'll allow that. Okay. All right. So I have a plus eight to that. So I will go ahead and roll that. And I rolled a four for a total of 12. Oh, no. All right, 
uh, uh, just, mostly just for time. You forgot to put on your thing, but I can update your thing for you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, I got gotcha. you. All right, heart. Hi. So, uh, when uh, when all this happened, uh, Hart doesn't have wild empathy. Hart can't roll diplomacy checks to uh, convince an animal that he is their friend. He can't ask things of an animal. Um, but you know what he sure as heck can? What's that? He can make he can make them more afraid of him than the previous no. skeletal rider. No. Uh huh. No. Uh huh. To intimidate a horse. This I'm gonna intimidate a horse. This is <sighs> fucked up. Sorry, everyone. I fucking love horses. I literally have like taken riding courses throughout my entire youth. I love horses. <laughs> Opponent, no. My my <laughs> dream. My dream. This is like out of character. My dream when I was a young like child, without knowing what a true like real life job was was to be a knight and then i learned <laughs> it, I so, I, so I, I took fencing and uh riding courses when i was a kid i was set on being a knight oh you're yeah uh, yeah 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 you're you're a yeah, good yeah. horse person now beat the shit out of that horse yeah now i'm, 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 I'm <laughs> and abuse heart. on the stream it's fine heart everyone has seen heart like do things when heart is with his friends he's like normal but if we just scroll back to the previous episode where heart has no problem punching someone's heart out or the fact that he you know just crunches up bodies like they were nothing he has no remorse for people who aren't his friends so he is like he doesn't even hold on to any reins or anything he just pushes this horse by his entire body weight and just holds on to the mane and just screams forward onward faster all the time may i uh, use roll. intimidate y you may use intimidate nice i rolled an 18. That a, that is a 24. Oh, one of the guys won a natural one on their initiative, so Ooh. don't worry, Greg, you're not the only one, but their number <laughs> was slightly higher than yours, so they're still going a little bit more. All right. Yeah. Beetle. Yeah. So we're going to, this is a bit of a mixture of what's happening. We're going to try to do the chase rules. And then we're yeah. going to deal with the initiative stuff, because the chase rule is a little bit different. Pretty much you as a team are progressing through various obstacles and in, 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 in circumstances to get up to your target. And then from there, we could start doing some stuff. So you're trying to catch up to this carriage. You know it's holic stuff all inside. These things are trying to get away. Now, first obstacle are people. You know, like, I can't put it all on the map or else it'll make it even laggier than it is. But you know that there are people around. You're trying to you're trying to weave and bob past people yeah. so you can use various skills to try to get through it. So I need everyone here to either roll me an athletics check to get by or a nature check to get by. I'll, I'll like do Athletics, it. acrobatics, or nature. I'll take those three. Okay. Athletics oh, wow. it is. Uh, yeah, dodge athletics and weave past it people. Is. I rolled yeah, a 12 for a total of 20. I got I a net 20. That's a 20 from Gray. I rolled a 14. I rolled a Oh my god! Actual 20 from total. heart. For a total of 31. <laughs> what the fuck? So for Gray and heart, what I'm going to do for you two, I'm just going to move you up here. One. Uh Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You make it up clear, clear up here. And what I'm going to try to do as well is give you control ah. of this horse. Give me a moment. The task horse. Okay, two horse. So you get everyone <laughs> owner of it, and um. For Tillium and Beetle, I will move you guys up midway because you're able to dodge and weave through, get past all the people. But Beetle, you notice that you struggle a little bit and you're just a little bit behind. 
is a little bit behind. You're still struggling. You're still trying to get there, but there is a chance that one of you can at least get close enough to the carriage to make them slow down so you can engage them. Next obstacle, I'm going to leave the chat. Chat, have a little chat interaction a little bit. Oh. What's what the next uh -huh. obstacle should be? Oh, oh. no. Oh, what, no. What, what should the next obstacle be that they have to get by? Think of it. You're running through a city. They're on horses. They're galloping through. No, Froggy, you can't say anything. <laughs> I, I, uh, I knew it. I knew cabbage cart. My cabbages. I also, I want to, I want to shout out to chat. I want to shout out to chat for them going, oh my God, it's the tea again. When uh, Gray had her moment. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this chat. This is perhaps the coolest thing you can ever do. <laughs> Unless Soren gives you this opportunity again. Also known uh, as if you, if Soren <laughs> likes this, you can do this perhaps again. <laughs> so, no, no, <laughs> not a so far. So one of the things I actually wanted to do, I did, I didn't have time and and stuff. I actually was gonna order art for the chainsaw car to chase you all, but that's that's out there. Oh, <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I couldn't get I couldn't get in time. So for cabbage for the cabbage cart, um, we'll have that happen. There's a guy slowly going across the road with a cabbage cart, and you guys oh, no. need to avoid him. So I need, so you can either try to nature check to kind of convince the horse to do a better job. You can acrobatics check it, or you can do a social skill to tell that guy to hurry up. And hopefully he gets away from you <laughs> fast enough. Well, what you got? So to, I'll give you, I'll give you a little bit to decide what you want to do. Decide what you want to do. I'll give you about 10 seconds. I'm gonna start counting. So can 10. I Nine. Yeah. Stop oh, wait counting. Wait, wait. Is going to leave Stop. Be using acrobatics. I will use intimidation, purely by the fact that a massive snorting, uh, like screaming horse and a screaming man, the size of a mountain. <laughs> up here. That's, that's a lot of All meat. Right. <laughs> All right. I hope you made your decisions. I'm gonna start going around the horn and see what you guys do. All right. All right. First off, bam, beetle. I'm gonna use diplomacy, and beetle's gonna scream. Look out! I'm whipping the night. <laughs> I hate that that works. That's a, that's a 24. Excellent, you got a 24. Next up, we're going to do heart. Heart gets an 18. Well, what, what are you doing with the intimidation? How do you convince the cart guy to get the hell out of the way? He screams, get out of the way or you're dying. <laughs> Next up, to leave. Kaleem is actually going to be, uh, he's going to use acrobatics to try and uh, rein and guide the horse to uh, actually go over the cart. Plus seven for the Natural oh, 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 fucking oh, 20. This oh, 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 riding through the sky indeed. There's can like, I, can, it's I, like, can it's I do a narrative perfect. decoration? So yeah, cool. Go for it. What's your narrative declaration? I will spend the hero point to narratively <laughs> declare that for a speck of a moment, um, Talim possesses the horse. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll allow it. Nice. All right. Lastly, Gray. Uh, going to use athletics to try and navigate around the cart before, oh god, everything goes to shit. Uh, rolling, <laughs> rolling, 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 please god, for a total of 15. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, let's see what happens. All right, so let's see, Beetle. You Please. yell out your diplomacy, and he goes, "Oh my cabbage!" <laughs> and he begins to kind of cart a little bit fast. Like, oh God, I'm going to run over. <laughs> and you notice that you're able to boost yourself up with everybody else. And then, as Hearts screams, screams that like, "Move! You're gonna die here!" And then, oh, but my cabbage will be safe. And then begins to continue to go a little bit faster on the road. But just at that second, where well, there would have been a collision, the leam leaps over and bounds. It makes so much progress after the leap. Ghostly visits kind of like ghostly flames begin to follow in the hooves of the horse. Literally the legend of a ghost rider. And he goes like, oh, wow, that's so beautiful. And then of course, Gray, 
<laughs> Gray makes solid, like, starts to make solid progress. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> but unfortunately, trying to weave past and go, oh my cabbages, and bam, knocks through no! the cart, and cabbages oh! go everywhere, <laughs> causing Gray to lose some progress. No! My cabbages! Oh, oh my cabbages. cabbages! My entire life savings was in that last purchase! And then he's oh. gone. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt, but I also want to use a point to add to uh, Talib's narrative declaration when he's jumping the horse over the cabbages. Uh, mm -hmm. So my point is going into, you know, the I'm easy like Sunday morning song by the Commodores, the I'm easy like Sunday morning. Nah, I don't speak hip hop, but keep going. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, when he jumps over, everything slows down and it gets a little brighter and there's like little dandelion puffs all over the place and, and butterflies and it's like, that's why I'm easy. I'm easy like Sunday morning. Ah. <laughs> you know what? And he lands and it goes back to dun, 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 dun. You know, you know what to do, editors. You know what to do, editors. <laughs> All right. You can't because it's DMCA music. <laughs> All right, you guys are still progressing. I'm gonna allow chat one more obstacle thing. Chat, this is the final obstacle they have to get by for anyone to get any chance to get through unless they keep family. They gotta get to this cart. It's either this obstacle, and if they fail this one, they gotta get one more. At least try to get a chance up there. So chat, one more obstacle. Not a group of orphans, <laughs> like, <laughs> like no, not a procession of orphans proceed out into the I, road. I got grandma in the middle of the road. <laughs> grandma! <laughs> <Bailey. laughs> Beatles family, I saw. Let's let's do that. I'm gonna spin a villain point to make it Beatles family crossing the road. <laughs> No. No, 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 I no, think no, no, that's no, no, great. No, 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 no. I'm minusing a villain point. No, no my backup kobolds! <laughs> All the kobolds are now in vain, so you can't bullshit me out of lives anymore. They're on the road crossing and mo and, 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 and mama be beetles above. Do is... any of you guys know Madeline? Yeah. You know, Mad Madeline, the, the school yeah. girl, and, and yeah. Miss Clavel, the orphan leader. So all yeah. the Beatle sisters are like the Madeline girls, where they're all like dressed the same and they walk in a single file line. No. <laughs> they're all wearing little hats with ribbons. <laughs> it's, it's the only thing that differentiates them, the different color of the ribbon. Yeah, 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 yeah. But otherwise they look exactly the same. They look like Beetle, but how Beetle's supposed to look. All right, so. How can we how can we do this? I'll allow everyone to be inventive on the way that they want to get past this obstacle. There are a bunch of slow but cute little kobold kids, everything on whack, 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 with one very slow old kobold mother just oh, trying no. to get across the road. Oh, we, clearly no. she had room, but due to the low speed, it was it's never enough. She's so, just trying to get to the bank to pay her mortgage. Yeah. yeah. You gotta, send, you gotta send my papers in. I just, my sweetheart just sent me money. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Why do you uh, do this, Gwen? Who hurt All right, you? so Beetle will be last, I feel. I'm gonna start out with Gray. Oh, uh, no, I'm gonna try and jump over. I'm rolling with athletics. <laughs> Don't kick my, my mom in the head. Don't kick my mom. <laughs> Roll the six. I'm, I'm re-rolling. I have a hero point. I'm <laughs> re-rolling. <laughs> With a total of 15. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You. It just did it twice. It just did it twice. That's 19. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the I see the one that you did. I'll take the 19. Okay. I'll be fine. I'll be, okay. I'll be generous. Okay. All right, oh, there goes one. All right. Oh, God. Um. They're all so cute. <laughs> Yeah, after, after that, uh, that, 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 that moment of, man, I really don't want to kick Mama Beel, uh, Beelzebub in the head. Um, they all have hopes though. in their I, eyes, all future ambitions. Yeah. I mean, like, look, maybe if they're lucky, they'll wind up undead. It's not that bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so after that, like, moment of just, like, becoming this ghostly rider, like, Talim is, like, is back in the saddle and he's just like i have no idea how that happened um and he is going to go back to trying to 
magically control this horse in the reins uh using arcana as he you know it, it, he never rode a horse since he's gonna go um, and so that's gonna be uh that's gonna be my go-to trying to try to figure out what you're asking for like <laughs> He's trying to use like he's, he's he's trying to use the mage hand to like uh, okay you want to roll arcana yeah arcana okay all right roll arcana for okay. me all right so I get a plus eight to that and I roll a sorry my my brain's still addled from being sick like, you're perfectly no. fine because <laughs> I'm gonna use a hero point to re-roll that because I rolled a three that was a total of an eleven ooh and be a quick fail salty there. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> These are my backup characters on the line. Please roll carefully. There we go. Um, I had to just roll again. There we go. If you don't have an option, just roll again. It's, it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, just arcana kind of check again. Right. You're good. Oh, oh, that's a bit that is significantly better. I rolled a 12 oh. for a total of a 20. <gasps> All right. All right. Heart. All right. So. Due to Shat's benevolence, <laughs> I have an additional hero point uh, back. Uh, thank you for that, um, Soren. Yeah, I'm snoring. Can I do? Can I do something <laughs> utterly fucking stupid? I what? like utterly fucking stupid, especially if it's the lives of Beatles family. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't believe so, Beatles family are phylacteries for the rot. No. <laughs> so Soren. I'm snoring. I want to un I want to unbuckle the sad the saddle, slide down the side of the horse. If this requires a fucking narrative declaration, I'm fine with this. Okay. I want to slide slightly off the horse, and I want to literally just jump with the horse, and then land back on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Harp can't oh steer the horse. Oh he can just like, go forward, so he'll jump himself. Oh. <laughs> and and, and sure. for the fact, Soren, for the fact, Soren, I'll I have 40 feet base movement. I am as fast as a horse. I'll, uh, sure. Okay, I'll spend the, the narrative the, exploration to, to do it. To understand, uh, you're abandoning your horse, right? No, uh, uh, he's unbuckling the sa saddle, sliding down with it, and when he can reach a foot onto the ground, he wants to just press all of his muscle into okay, the ground. Okay, you're making it go faster. Just big okay. jump, big jump. Yeah, it, big jump, big leap over <laughs> them. I want to, I want to the rip speed the horse. Racer of, okay, uh, yes. Uh, of, yes. You know, go, go and roll me athletics. Oh. Heck yes. For what you're doing, I'm making your DC a little harder to beat. It's fine, it's 22. Are you good with that? I can't, I can't re-roll it, sir. Uh, um, I just you, you, don't have to narr you don't have to use okay. the narrative Okay, in that case, that. yeah, I'll re-roll that. I roll a six for total. Oh, no, that's worse. Oh. It's like I'm a devious little like, bastard. It's like, are you okay with the 22? I'm like, I'm screaming in my mind, stay with the 22. Stay with the 22. Stay with the Too 22. Bad. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Beetle, beetle, beetle. <laughs> Your family is in peril. How would you like to address it? I've had all this time to think about it and I'm just freaking out. What, 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 you, you know your family best. Thing? Yeah, what's the one thing that kobolds fear the most? Uh, uh, I'm going to try it. I'm gonna try and use diplomacy again. And he's just gonna go, oh God, mom, ah! And then he's gonna start barking really loud like a dog to try and scare them out of the road. Yeah. Like he, he just starts going, bah, 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 bah. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 no, wait. We knew wait. Beetle was a dog the entire time. No, wait, he, he tries to lower his voice to make himself sound like a big dog. Like he's like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Yeah, he's like, bah, bah, bah. Nineteen. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see how this goes. All right. 
Damn. I sent a picture of Madeline also was, to. So I was there for the day that the Bedells, the, the Bedells uh, family line ended. <laughs> If, 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 if I can choose, you don't have to, but if I can choose, I will slow down even further to not hurt a kobold. Because he sees Beetle and as soon as he sees a kobold, and it's like, no, no! Yeah, and Beetle is also you're, screaming, oh god, mom! Your, so your you, fate you has know been that. decided already, so let's let's see yeah. what happens. But go at it! So, yeah. uh, so Gray, yeah. you, you, you've, you've done what you can. You've, you've done what you can, but you're able to make through it. Okay. You gain back some of your ground and you're able to not hurt any kobold babies. Oh. You're just fine. Talim. Yes. You're able to make good progress. In fact, you are the closest to the carriage oh. and you're doing just fine. You do not hurt any kobold babies. Oh. Beetle. You come out and go, ah, bah, 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 bah. with all the sound and the commotion and everything else, you kind of notice that your mom kind of like picks her head up and go like, ah, the pot the potatoes are on this couch. Come on, kids. We gotta hurry. And they waddle faster. <laughs> they waddle a lot faster. Oh my gosh. But heart, unfortunately, oh no, no. with all of your mice, Yes. With all, with all of everything that you've done, you do not progress. Let me move Beetle here. You do not progress yeah, yeah, any yeah. faster, but you yeah. also don't hurt any cobalt babies. <gasps> oh, nice. Oh. And with my wow, that was anticlimactic. Oh, my back of characters. <laughs> <laughs> they all get the waddle away just fine. Oh. I was now, sweating in real life. I was, and, I was fucking sweating. Yeah, I can smell my and, pits. <laughs> so and the now, rock continues to plague the land. <laughs> and now you guys are up to the carriage. I'm going to adjust you guys here. Just a little bit here. It might be kind of weird on the adjustment here, but it's for a reason. Because one, yes. I got to fit you guys in the, fit it all in the frame, which the yeah, frame, doing yeah. a good job with. Yeah. We're doing that. And now we're in combat mode. You have passed all the chase obstacles. You've made it up to the carriage. <laughs> Thanks to Talim on that obstacle. You guys are able to catch up as you guys have now passed the chasing obstacles. So good job. You succeeded in the chase. Ooh. But now you still got to take them down. And as you see, you see Celelia, uh, the elf lady, has a crossbow and has it aimed at all of you. But Beetle. You are locked and loaded. I know you definitely on the horse will be up there. Got your crossbow ready. You're ready to go. You know, yeah. your mom is safe. It's your yeah. turn. What do you do? Yeah. I devise a stratagem. Devising Break. a stratagem. Break his forward jib, uh, discombobulate. <laughs> Traveling at 45 miles an hour. Traveling at 45. Right <laughs> <laughs> in the crossbow at this angle. Yeah. Yeah. When will the train yeah. reach the station? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, he's here. I will definitely miss. So you can shoot the other person. Oh, true. Wait, yeah. can I? So yes, this is, this is how, how it works. works. Uh, you know that if you fire at that person, it's not going to work out because you're doing you're doing your investigation. No, but stuff. I mean, like, do I have a sight line of them with them at the front of the wagon? Mm. Uh, he is sitting in the front of it. I will. He will be in cover, but you can shoot at him. Okay. Mm. Okay. 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 I don't think I could devise a stratagem twice. So it is 70 feet. So with a crossbow, I, you should be within range. I will, uh, Beetle closes his eyes and breathes in and points the crossbow up at the stars, up at the god, up at fucking god, and he prays. <laughs> you see the crossbow go in. You forgot, uh, actually, no, you're good. It's just your normal thing. Yeah. You see that bolt go whoosh up into the air and land in the back of the bird. Oh, he's just been getting beat up. Oh, Roll me some me. damage. Seven points. Yeah. Ah, brawl <laughs> from the carriage all the way over there. As the bolt <laughs> sticks into its back. Spend one action doing your thing there. Second action, uh, the finally fire another shot at somebody else. You don't get any yeah. of the bonuses because you didn't do it with the original stuff. No. Uh, you have one action left. I'm going to reload. 
Shuck -a -chuck. Do That's do my still turn. Need, do we need, still need to spend actions to make our horses move? Uh, yep, uh, I explain that so you understand how it works here. Yep. Before you're doing uh, the chasing rules. Now, now you got to care about the horses here to make it move. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm. So, Salalia so sees you guys coming in. And she has a choice to make. She can try to go for only. She's going to try to go for the one that's closest because she does not want you near her. She has a crossbow and will look at you, Talim, and fire. Bam! Natural 20! No! Oh, fudge! Bye, Talim. Straight to you. Dealing only 14 points of damage, but... Let me see here. Okay, it is not, it's not gonna affect you. But because of this, Celelia, you see that she'll take a bolt out and go, nah, and then put it in the crossbow, and oh. poosh, but you see the bolt to lean have like this purple kind of spectral oh, bit to no. it as it, and it stabs into you. You feel yourself frightened one due to that being a crit. And you will take Ooh. the 14 points of damage. Oh, Ouch! Which, what does Frighten do? Uh, uh, Frighten basically just brings one. most most of your stuff to minus one. It'll go away at the end, okay. of, your, uh, end of your next right. turn. So, as the crossbow bolt actually hits Talim, he rocks back in the saddle, and it actually looks like he is about to fall off. But then, like he stops as he's leaned back, and he actually does like the undead like sit back up, and his eyes narrow and he oh. leans forward <laughs> oh. Oh. It goes go sweater again you'll see Ghost that she'll Rider. reload as she winks at you to lamb heart your go does she wink with her one eye yes <laughs> 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 Shout for my horse that's blinking <laughs> <laughs> I you're Soren. not cool. <laughs> is, is this the actual distance between uh, us and this uh, car? Yes. Cool. Uh, Hart will pat this horse on the side and go. You did good. Uh, and then he takes a spring from his horse. I want to cast Key Rush, uh, which allows me to move twice and gain concealment. Um, uh, and uh, I wish to move from my horse uh, all the way up to this freaking carriage. Alright, so I, to dismount yeah. is one action. Yes, exactly. Uh, okay. Key rush to move twice. Uh, because okay. monk, once again, monk's sheet. Yeah, that's uh, another action with your key rush to the uh, spoken spell. Uh, and then I want to grab onto the cart so that I am on it. Like, I, I am at least, you know, there. To, yeah, that, you can do that on three. Yep. Yep. So, so I do that. So what's your movement? Uh, my movement is 40. Uh, All right. So yeah. take yourself one square off to the side of the horse there. Uh. Yeah, to the, right to the top there. there. There you go. So you hop off the horse. Now move yourself yes. up. Uh, you know, for two action or for two movements, because using key rush. Heck yes. Uh, so right there, and uh, he just flies over here. That just uh, do, 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 and comes in, and I'll yeah. allow you to kind of like latch onto the to the side. This this card is about ten feet up, so it'll take yeah. you. You're gonna have to climb next turn. Um, exactly, that's my you're plan. You're able to snag onto it so you don't have to keep running and stuff. But yeah, but the horse, yeah. Is, the horse is still running, and you're going, and you're going, Hart. But now that'll be the end of your turn. Yeah. Talim, you are riding across. You're rushing towards him. You see her. You see her now. To surprise at the speed of your companion, it's now your go. All right, so um, we needed to, what do we need to do to uh, get the horse to move normally? As so you can either up? spend one action, because you don't know how to, none of you have any riding skills or anything. You can spend an action to do a nature check to convince the horse to go. 
to go where okay. you want to, or because I'm doing a mercy game master thing, you can spend two actions to guarantee, to be like, hey, horse, go this way to, to make the horse move 30 feet. All right. I'm going to risk it and I'm going to make the nature check. I have absolutely nothing in nature. I, I'm actually <gasps> at a minus one at the moment. Oh my God. Oh no. Hey, Soren, do you want to mention what command an animal on crit checks, uh, crit fails is? I uh, sure no. can. So command an animal, you issue an order to an animal, attempt a nature check against the animal's will, DC. Game master might adjust the DC, blah, blah, blah. God can really fail yep. if the animal hostile is unfriendly to you. It seems to be all right with you. Um, yeah. Da, da, da. Uh, pretty much if you succeed, the animal does as you command on its next turn, which is going to be on your turn. Um, failure, the animal is hesitant or resistant and it does nothing. Critical failure, the animal misbehaves or misunderstands and it takes some other action determined by the game master. All right. And you rolled an 11. I rolled an 11. I am going to use my last hero point to try and reroll that. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to gamble. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, uh, go big. Why not? <laughs> oh, everyone clench. Let's see. I'll take the 13. It's better than the 11. <gasps> Unfortunately, it's will DC in which you all should, you guys should have access to its stat block on your little character selector thing. It's will DC it would be 15. Or actually, if I, if I look at it, yeah, it would be 15. So unfortunately, yeah. it does not do anything. All right. Um, so you can try uh, again. You know, what? I'm gonna s I'm gonna spend my last two actions to um to actually get it to uh to move up uh the what is it you said 30 feet 30 up to yeah. 30 feet. Uh, if okay. you you can see if you can move the horse yourself, highlight your token as if it's an RTS game, and then uh right. see and then try to drag it over. And if it doesn't drag okay. over, I'll fix it. And there we go. Or wait, no, I don't think it did. It's okay. I'll get you. All right. Huh? I dragged you over, and it, <laughs> it didn't want to move. <laughs> oh, no. okay. uh, there it goes. There it goes. It oh, okay, there it goes. All right. Sorry. All right. That my is CPU the, uh, is at hundred percent right now, doing all this no, stuff. No, you're, so. you're you're perfectly fine. And that is the end of my turn. That is all three of my actions. All right, now it's their turn. You will see that Cecilia will look back at her companion and go, I need a little bit of help here. I'm about to swarm the card. And you see that she's about to get her sword ready. And I'm like, not a problem. Snaps, and you see that he will cast something from his hands. He doesn't even stand up for it. Uh, what you see that he will do is that he will, oh my. He will do this. How, he will. How much will Foundry like this? Oh, it'll <laughs> like it. It'll like it just fine. So he will summon a skeletal soldier right on top of the cart. If I look under it, but it's fine. Boop. I tried to get it. There you go. Well, I try to do it, and then it like wigs out on the token. Hold up, hold up, hold up! <laughs> I, I, I fucked up. <laughs> Wait, I would try this one. <laughs> maybe, maybe I, this I, thing's I got a token. I can't believe the skeleton soldier was summoned and fell off. <laughs> yeah, he summons it. It like crumbles under the wheels and dies. And like, <laughs> oh wait, sorry, wrong guy. <laughs> And then uh, instead he summons like, a ghoul. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> like, Damn. And he summons a ghoul right beside her. And on its oh. turn, it'll have two actions because it's a summon thing and it will step up to the edge of the cart and see you, Heart. Here, to make it easier uh, for stuff here. Heart, you're on the edge. I'll say this is the edge. 
Yeah. Because uh, he's going to, and I'll say that he was summoned back here, so he will spend an action to move up to you, so that's all fair, so I'm not screwing you. Um, the ghoul will come up to you and see you on the edge, and it's about, uh. ten, it's, it's about 10 feet, so he'll have to climb down to get you. And that's what he will do. He'll spend another action to try to kind of grab onto the side. You'll see this ghoul, ghoul right above you open up its wide jaw and, go, and then try to like bite into you. Get away, get away. Unfortunately, it misses for him. Woo. And that's the end of that thing's turn. Gray, it's your turn. I'm going to try and do a nature roll to convince the horse to go further up. She Absolutely. Like, You're good. Nice really... and trained in it. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I just saw the chat. <laughs> Zora cast summoned skeletal speed bump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> new spell. New spell, Zora. <laughs> skeletal oh speed bump is a new spell. Come on. <laughs> All right, with, your, with your roll of 22, you're able, uh, the, you're able to move the horse just fine. That means you move it up for 30 feet. Woo! Man, that would have been nice. <laughs> oh, shucks. And I'm going to declare... I'm still mad about it. Uh, our, our eye-patched friend, my hunted prey. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim with my crossbow while on this moving horse. This will go great. Oh, you're <laughs> this will gonna go great. I believe. Hey, you hit. A total of 19. Up nice. And damage is 13. You'll see that she'll look down at Harley. Yes, yeah, get him up. My... Ah! You'll see that she'll get hit by your bolt. Full damage to her. 13 points of damage. Ah! She like, rips it out and like throws it down and glares at you. So you moved up. You fired. I this is you where Gray actually, Gray, uh, you know, actually winks at her. Grinning. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't reload because you had to hunt nope. prey for it. So that'd be the end of your turn. Beetle. It's not too late to just give us the cart. And I'd like to try and uh, pull up. I'd like to get a little closer if I can. Oh my God, did 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 Beetle's bub just pull up? I'd like to go to after party. Uh, I'll use I'll use my I'll use nature. He's trying to like he, he does little like Shakira Shakira pops on the back of the horse to try and encourage it. He's like yeah yeah, yeah you know <laughs> please. I mean, nice of people would say that unfortunately is not enough. <laughs> That's okay, I loaded my crossbow, so I do a little dance on the back of the horse after trying to tell him to give us the cart, and then I, I will aim at God again and fire. Oh, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, I, devise a, I aim at God and I devise a stratagem. Yeah, 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 that's well, the right. Strategy, I mean, you are, <laughs> and you are following a lead. Kind of, I think that might give you a little bit more bonuses, I think. Yeah. you are part of the thing you're dealing with. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Let me see. I checked it off, so if it gives me any bonus, uh, it, it will. There you go. Okay, you so hit. that's a 19 to hit. Uh, Beetle fires, get you! <laughs> five, 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 five. And it soars off into the sun. There's a little twinkle, and it comes down directly into the bird boy's back again, right next to the other ah! one. <laughs> this is what you hear. Yeah. All right, so you try with the horse, you discombobulated. Yeah, and then I'm going to reload my crossbow and it might turn. All right. All right, so Lelia will back up, uh, put her crossbow away, and take out her uh, her rapier. Or she'll kind of drop her crossbow onto the thing and then take out her rapier. And then what she will do... Let's see. What she will do is that she you will begin to hear her hum. It's very beautiful uh, to your to your guys' oh, ears. No. And she begins go na 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 and inspire courage. No, she's a bug. I knew she was. Evil. I should have known with the sleeves. <laughs> Fucking this. <laughs> and the failed attempt at winking. Should have been a dead giveaway. Giveaway. 
<laughs> Heart, it's your turn. Hey, Soren. Yes. Is that thing that bit down on my freaking arm and sh and fucking cracked a tooth? That thing is vertical, right? It vertically above you, yes. Yeah, yeah, nice. I want to trip it. <laughs> All right. I want to see how fa uh, how fast this thing can meet the flo the freaking street. Um, I want to trip it against the reflex saving throw. So it's reflex DC. But that's a four. No, that ain't gonna nah, do it. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you uh, can't even hear a point. You get all out of. No, I sure can't. Unless. <laughs> no, <laughs> I uh, bet. Unless. Uh, you yeah, play for uh, time and Chad gives you one, but unfortunately, uh, now it's uh, over. Next uh, action. You no, try again. My, my, yeah, my next action is to try again. Uh, <laughs> Trip has the attack trait. I roll so the same freaking five. number. Yes, yeah. so minus five. <laughs> so sorry, everyone. Uh, no, um, <clears throat> with my third my third action that I will do is uh, that I want to fucking stare down this thing. Literally just stare it down and be like, what are you going to do? You're going to try to eat a man with a skin of clay? And I want to intimidate him, demoralize. That's my third and final action, Soren. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at all the uh, all the bits of Bob. I gotta, I gotta look up his uh, will save. I got a tw uh, you critically succeed. I critically Woo! succeed. Yes, you crit succeed. Nice. And so it baby is boy. feared. I like how the ghoul's just like, uh, uh. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> Talim, it's now your turn. All right, so. Uh, after, you know, like, uh, Talim has been shot the, the chest and everything, you know, he's, you know, he, he's pulled up and, uh, he's, okay. So do I have to, like, maintain control of the horse or do I not have to skill, do skill checks if I want to move it? Uh, you still, the, the command it again, you'll still have to skill check it. But from where you're at, I, normally you have to, like, actually have some movement to jump, but I will All allow right. you here. You do fly. So to kind of help you out, you so to help you out as it goes, you can just glide down to grab I'm onto the end of that cart. Actually, not going to jump. I will let the horse maintain its current speed and position. And what Talim will actually do is he will pull a hand back. He will make it into a claw-like gesture, and his eyes will flare with magical power as he thrusts it forward and he says bleed oh. and specters welding daggers will issue forth in like almost a tendril like formation in a 30 foot line in front of him because I'm I'm cast I'm casting grim tendrils nice yeah go ahead and put down the cone put it in the middle of your token there and you can hold shift to rotate it Okay. Um, if you need help, I can do it for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to need help with it because I can't okay. figure out. All right, so where I'm going to click cast on Grim Tendrils here, there'll be a little yep. place 30 foot line. So it's a line. I want to put it in the center of your thing and bam, I see it go. It hits her and calf and who see the cool spell effects. Uh, so oh. now what I need to do is I click on both of these guys and I click for their fortitude saves. Oh, no one needed to have a plus one to it, but it won't matter. Um, does they both need to make a 17 fortitude save? And Cecilia so uh, does just fine. She rolled a 20, but Cat failed because uh, he rolled a 12. It would be plus one to the Inspire Courage. Um, so basically what your Grim Tendril spell does, if they succeed, the damage, the, the creature takes half the negative damage and no persistent bleed damage. Go ahead and roll me the damage button. All right. So we press that damage button. All right. So they, she'll only take two. But Kath failed. And so what happens there, failure, the creature takes full damage uh, and also take the persistent bleed damage. So he will take the full on damage. Or sorry, she only take one, whatever. God damn it. Hold up. <laughs> Fuck it up here. Oh, you're fine. Uh, you only take. Wait, I. Oh, no, wait, yeah. I don't have any hero points. Ah! Oh, no, you can't hero, you can't hero point damage anyways. No, unfortunately not. Uh, but he will take the full two damage. 
and he will take the persistent bleed damage there, and they'll auto apply. Thanks, Foundry uh, Pathfinder devs, for making that a lot easier for us. That just auto applies to bleed, and will auto do it itself. So yeah, as you go, whoosh, you're pretty much the grim tendrils been coming. Ah, what is this? It's like he's a mage, and we'll begin to try to like try to slough it off, but they do not have any success. And if I remember right, okay, I got, I got all right. Did your spell right? All right. Yeah. So there's two actions and to do that. I got one action left. Okay. I need to check. I can only, I can only enter into Arcane Cascade if I use a spell strike, right? Or I don't know, because this is the first time I've just cast a spell. Just after you cast a spell. Down. Yeah, well, and just your recent spell action spell to cast a spell or make a spell strike. So you can enter. All right. uh, uh, I will spend my last action to enter into Arcane Cascade as Hell yeah. uh, Talim will continue to channel the necromantic energies uh, through him. Excellent. Go ahead and put that buff on you. And now it'll be Calf's turn, our avian friend here. And then what he will do is that he'll try to turn over to the side. And let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. He's going to go. Oh, didn't mean to roll that. My bad. He's going to look at gray. Oh, damn it. And fire because he's just turning off to the side. He can't turn completely behind because mm -hmm. that's where Talim and Hart is. He sees you and going ah, and cast magic missile. <gasps> no. All three actions. Oh, no. Actually, no, he'll, oh he'll, do, he'll, only, do, he'll only do two actions because he has to uh, deal with his summon. So pew, 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 do, 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 and that automatically hits. So three, four damage to you, Gray. Ow. And now that he's making sure he's sustaining his summon, the ghoul, even though it is Friday, he's like, ah, he'll still try <laughs> to bite at you hard, kind of suspending over there. It's a, it's a no, weird... Oh. <laughs> like, ah, I'm trying to bite into you, Hart. Ah, misses. And will try to follow up by clawing at you. Natural one. Natural one on the rules roll. Gray, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to maintain my speed for he now. He takes lovely damage. And he's going to recover from the bleed. Sorry, my bad. And he fails no, to yeah, recover. No, no. He crit fails to recover, so you're good. Oh, uh, your turn, Gray. My bad. All good. Uh, so I'm my hunt of prey. My first stack on my hunt of prey. Uh, so I gotta reload. Um, and then I will strike with the crossbow. Uh, again at uh, Celilia. And I'm gonna roll. Oh god, everything's lagging out for me now. Oh. Oh yeah, if it's, if it's being super laggy, just refresh Foundry. You'll hopefully get back to you. I did. Uh, yeah, that's what I, that's what I just I did. Uh, let me let me turn off Inspire Courage here because sometimes that lags people out. Uh, but I do have one final hero point. You do. You do. I'm going to reroll using my hero point. Get it, Grandma. For a total oh, of thirteen. Yeah. I mean, sorry, twenty-three. Twenty-three. That is a, that is a twenty-three. At the head, do roll me some damage. Away. Damage. Bam! Nine points of nine. damage. You were just. After that. I get that for you, you bipedal dog. Ah. Oh, you can try. And I'm gonna reload. Awesome. <laughs> Beetle. Hee hoo! Device stratagem. I point at God. <laughs> <laughs> you crit. I close my eyes and I fire the third bolt aimed at Birdman's back. Seven points a day. It's did, did you right roll, next to the two other crit bolts. damage? Oh, Hit the crit did, button. my bad. Like, my bad, my crit. bad. That was the regular damage. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There I you am go. crit. 18, baby. Woo. Oh, you Tap is happening. That <laughs> bolt comes up, Beetle. The sing right into the sky. It glints, even though it's kind of dark outside. <laughs> <laughs> Here, one final. It glints because 
a single firefly like flies past and, it, just weep. <laughs> and you see that Calf. lands on it for one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you see Calf just kind of slump over, and the body Whoa. just there goes. rolls there it off. Goes. Goodbye. And disappears goes. in the street. You want to spend your reaction to spit at him? <laughs> no! Okay. Beetle's not BM! Okay. No, 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 no. Beetle's not like the Xbox lobby kid. No, no, no. He just kind of whoo and steers mm. the horse away from the bird man as he topples. Nobody's driving the car! You can hop on it and stop the horses! He's going to reload. And, oh, is that... Is that only two so, turns? Do I have one more turn? So, um, someone, someone pointed this out to me, but I, I told people that we we mix it together just for the ordeal. Um, so when you define a stratagem, it actually takes an action. And what it describes, oh! it says, you choose a creature you can see and roll a d20. If you strike the chosen creature later this round, you must use the result of the roll you made to divide the stratagem for your strikes attack roll. So technically, you use yeah. one action to like roll the d20. Oh! And the, so normally, I just kind of combine them sometimes, and I keep forgetting that it would take two actions to do it. So, I'll do better to remember it. I'll put it in yeah. my, my Google Doc. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it was also part of my job to also remember it. So, Don't worry about it. You are, you, are, you are the you are the you are the sick boy. Yeah. So, which we we've been forgetting for most of the campaign. So someone pointed that out to me. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> like to buy the strategy is an action. Well, and then no, you I mean that's on that me too matter. for you not reading it right. You've both been yeah, so, sick for a week. Yeah. So normally, in, yeah. Yeah, right. normally in Foundry, I just say if you're gonna hit someone, just do the say you did it and the attack at the same time because you just you're doing it together for that reason. You anyway. freaking got it. That's um, my turn. But it, you can do it in so many different ways. So it, we keep forgetting. Um, <laughs> sorry, everybody. Sorry. Yeah, well, we'll be messing it up all the time, but I keep remembering. Uh, Celelia, Celelia will turn around and and turn around. See, see that you just killed her companion, and she will turn to all of you. Yeah, suck it, man. Let's. <laughs> I'm not brain. DM. I'm not like Xbox kid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, me. that was out of character. That was out of character. <laughs> it's like, I hate this. It's like, I killed your friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone you love is dead. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes you now. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. And you see that she will kind of go into a rage. Oh. Uh -oh. And kind of, and kind of like. Oh, she, she'll go. She'll. Uh, she sees that she's getting fired at with a bunch of crossbow bolts. <laughs> uh, but she'll kind of, kind of. Uh, she'll start to hem to herself, and she will cast soothe. And that will heal her for thirteen nice. points. Put the soothe effect on her. But it'll take two yeah. actions. And she can't really quite do much right now uh, because she dropped her crossbow and stuff like that. But she will now wait. Nice. Hard, it's now your turn. I'll climb up the, uh, this piece now that the stinky man is gone. Uh, so uh, place me where you think I should be now that I have climbed up the cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, uh, I'll have you be up to you can either be up to here yes yeah, so i here you'll be on cart yeah, yeah cool uh and so he gets up and he points at at celia and goes you stole this you have an option right now and that's to jump off <laughs> and then heart she wants spits to at you Oh. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Heart will, if she if she spits at him, he won't move. He will just stand there and take it. And he stares back at her. Your choice. And then uh, I want to flurry of blows this person. That's my final act. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. 
That's a, a natural oh tool. That's a natural Oh my god! This woman is, is about to become paste. I rolled a one, so but it's still that no, you ten. You rolled a one on your ten. damage die. Yeah, but it's still <laughs> ten. And then my next attack. Yeah. That's a you 19. Hit. That's still a hit. You hit just barely. Uh, and I hit for 18 total damage from uh, from both of these attacks. As Very hard, good hit. As hard shrugs and goes suit yourself, and then he just clocks her twice across the face. <laughs> just she, she says no words, because he rage in her eyes, and he just grush, grush, like teeth are falling out and stuff. It just and she's just getting destroyed. Talim, <laughs> it's your, it's your time. All right, so you said that I can, uh, that I can- Your fingers I can, should be off by now, sorry. Yeah. There you go. So that I can jump the gap, right? Or float the gap, or I don't- Yeah, I, you, you can float it, the gap. I'll, I'll allow you to, because you're a ghost. This is part of your special stuff. You're able to hoo over. All right, so do you need me to roll anything for that, or I just-, I just No, you, you can just float on through, because of how kind of like you, you fly through and stuff like that, and your speed, right. you would be fast enough to kind of like go and try to get up there. Uh, so you're, you're gonna have to spend will, some actions to climb up, though. Oh, that's fine. Um, so I will actually, uh, you know, use that action to dismount and um, get over to the cart, and then I will use uh, an action to climb up it. Yes. And once that is done, uh, Lee will be up on the cart, and he will uh, lash out with his uh, with his whip sword from uh, in feet away. All right, so, let's see it. He will target her, and then I will strike with a plus eight. I do have Arcane Cascade going. Uh, it's a total of 20 for the hit. And then I nice. roll the damage. And it has got an additional plus one negative energy on it for a total of nine damage from that strike. You deal nine points of damage to her. She looks very messed up. And uh, as Thaleem hops up with the cart and lashes out on her, it's like, there's no honor among thieves. You should know there is no mercy either. <gasps> and she kind of spits out blood and looks over to you and goes like, I'd rather die. Like, I'd rather die then. There's a horror that would await me even after I'm even after you're done with me. Would be the worst. We I'd rather die win. here. <laughs> and she has her rapier, here and she's trying to do her best to kind of like clash against your blade, but you're way too skillful. You're going past all her defenses. She's too messed up. Yeah, and that is the end of my turn. That's all three of my actions. Gray. Jump off, climb up, attack. <laughs> Gray, the target um, decided. Target decided. Oh. Do it. Oh, do it now! <laughs> Strike! Roll! That's a hit. Roll of third 21! Roll damage! Finisher. Roll three! <laughs> yeah, finisher. <laughs> <laughs> With that last ball just... She basically tumbles back. And falls off. <laughs> and basically will fall down and along the road as you guys are traveling along <gasps> as another corpse just to be laden on this path. But the cart's still going. No one's driving. <laughs> no one's driving. <laughs> Who's driving the plane? Who's driving? <laughs> I'll say the encounter's now done, but we're still kind of an initiative. Gray, you just, did, you just fired. You got two actions left. I'm gonna, uh... God, where is it? I'm gonna use a nature check to get the horse to go forward uh, and try and get on the cart. All right, go and roll me one. Uh, rolling. That's a seven. <laughs> it does oh, not yeah, listen to you. Ah. Beetle. Horse is like, I want to go home. <laughs> me too, horse. <laughs> me too. Okay, so Beetle's going to put his crossbow away and then. 
grab the reins and pull out his trusty crowbar with rations tied to the end, and he's gonna try to get the horse to get closer to the cart. I'll, I'll use nature for this, I guess. We're just we're just we saved them all for the end. That's God it. damn it! <laughs> saved them all for the end. Beetle just like slides sideways and falls off the horse. <laughs> <laughs> and you and oh, you just have ah! a complication. So I'm going to use this complication from one of our patron members called Mechanicus Inept. If you also, if you two want to submit your own complication to see what horrors you can do to our players, if they roll a natural one, it's patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. <laughs> Let me highlight this so Thurston is with it. patrons. It is Thanks. called... What are you? And you see an enemy <laughs> sees a glimpse of a player's character uh, brought in response to nature, causing him to come uh, stunned for a round. Uh, I'm going to change this a little bit. This this for some reasons just just for an enemy. So we, we, uh -huh. we these are for players. So I'm going to manipulate this a little bit by changing it to where, because basically what they're saying is that you're stunned for a round. I'm going to say the bodies that you're just seeing just crumpling down on the <laughs> road and stuff like that were just horrific looking and as they just crumple in just <laughs> you are stunned for one round and what stun means is that you practically just lose a turn not a turn but lose one action yeah i have an existential moment with myself in this horse yes <laughs> <laughs> so that was one action now you're stunned you have one action left Oh boy! I try to move the horse forward again. <laughs> Let's see another I can't natural hold one. A, ration. a fourteen. It's not That's enough. That's one below. <laughs> All right, Guys, remember you, you can. Stop the car. You could just use two actions to succeed. You just just make a move. Remember. I I <laughs> you forgot, didn't you? I am packing peanut brain. I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> Hard, it's your turn. Nicely done, Talim, and he tries to like um, do the uh, do the predator handshake with Talim, uh, yeah. but Talim is a ghost. Oh uh, my god! Get the and, fart! And uh, and then he goes, haha! Someone should stop this cart. <laughs> Talim just like I just looks at the hand, so looks at like looks at Hardy's like somebody should stop this cart, and he's just like he kind of just. <laughs> Nods his head to the side towards the front of the car. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's somebody he looked. He, looked, he looked over at the, at, at the front of the car. Who's driving the car? <laughs> Please! <laughs> and he runs, he runs over, drops down to the seat, and he wants to just crush the part that holds on to the horses, like the, the, the <laughs> wooden bar. <laughs> Connect them to the horses. Okay. <laughs> I, I I want to destroy. How are we gonna Why? get the cart back to us? I'll, I'll pull it. Don't worry. I hate it here. So you want to destroy the thing that's holding the reins? <laughs> so the horses just keep going. You know. <laughs> you know. Th did you ever think that they were Holix horses? <laughs> Not anymore. I guess you did. All right, you all roll me a yeah. place check. <laughs> okay, cool. So, uh, Soren, um, hearts horrible with animals, as you just saw. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm but I'm really good at crushing things. Mm -hmm. So I rolled a twenty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> you know that you know that meme or that image where the guy like brings up his finger a finger to like, say something that stops and thinks and then brings <laughs> yeah, it up again and then that's to leave on the back of things the again. Right now. Yeah. Just, he, so here's what happens yeah combat is ended yes there's a lot of exciting things happen heart yeah. this, this this is what occurs you go you basically smash into that thing that thing also um also controls the front axis of this carriage, which also helps yes. out with the wheels. 
He doesn't know that. So you have destroyed that. And so the wheels become also disconnected. The horses are now free, still connected to the beams of the wooden part of it. So the horses rush off. They are now disconnected, and the carriage violently and then violently stops. Oh. Hmm. What did you do that for? Zorin, I have a question. Yes. Are ghosts affected by momentum? <laughs> you fling off the front Talim at the sudden stop. Parts of the carriage are destroyed as pieces fall out of the front. Everyone, everyone is able to stop their horses in time. I understand the horses are running on a, on a still background. I get it. And um, <laughs> and with that, you guys, you as the heroes, now look at a cart with a bunch of stuff just kind of spilled out. And what you also see, if when you guys kind of inspect it and open up the back, is that there is a giant sunflower in the back no. with broken bottles and things and the thing, and it looks a little bit bruised up. I'm Ooh. sorry, guys. I didn't know how to stop it. And as, that as is the cart violently stops. Talim goes flying, and the only thing as he goes flying past Art on the front of the cart is, I'm flying through the air right now, and this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, I I got in that, situation. that is how we're going to end it today. Thank you for the session. Thank you. I had so much fun. <laughs> that chase thing was so cool. It was very cool. The chase was actually was 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 super cool. There was so it was many hype good as fuck. Yeah. Sorry, I'm all tired. <laughs> I, I, I just I just saw. Wait. I just saw Rack the dude is just like till he was going to be <laughs> was like so I know he's uh Jay Sharpeton is like so till he was going to give the recap next time. <laughs> till he was flying through the air. So you may be wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone everyone did absolutely wonderful. Sorry if I'm not gonna do a detailed outro uh here on this because we lasted a while again. Of course. Uh, I'll try to make these shorter. <laughs> so with that Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this episode of Rock Coons and want to further support the channel, patreon.com forward slash narrative declarations. You can get this VOD early so you can watch it early. But if you're a Twitch subscriber, you also get to watch the Twitch VOD for this. But the MP3 file and all that stuff will be on Patreon. Visit narrative declaration.com for free PDFs for stuff or just help it out on Twitch channel. Subbing stuff really, really helps us out. And if we continue with that 1,000 sub goal, if we're staying at 1,000 subs till the end of February, uh, we will do a Warham special for you guys, uh, which oh, is uh, our old characters and stuff like that. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much, Minerva. You are wonderful. Cabal, you're always amazing. Froggy, always a joy and salty. Always a narrative joy. I've been your Game Master Zone. Bear. Thank you all so much for coming with us all today. I'm tired. I've been sick the entire time, so sorry if I've been loopy and everything else. So has Froggy. So long, everyone. We're Bye. having a great week. We will see you all next time. Please stay safe out there. Keep your guy, keep yourselves happy. We will see you guys next time. Love you all so much. Every other every other Saturday for Rock Coons, every other Saturday for Rock Grind. Enjoy yourselves out there. Stay safe. And we'll see you next time on Rock Coons. Goodbye. Bye.